or whatever that is for now and gonna focus on getting hello hello everyone hi how's everyone doing tonight uh we're just kind of chilling for a minute or two to be honest but i wanted to hop in and just let everyone know that uh yeah thank you guys so much for the support it's because of you guys that i'm able to do the whole rim world friday stream thing uh you guys are all amazing <laughs> noodle for mayor noodle really wants to run the colony uh, what are you gonna do noodle if you do get a character and they end up being like absolute trash because like your character has to be able to do the job <laughs> anyways guys as i was saying um just yeah just thank you all for that uh, but also, RimWorld. So RimWorld's going to be the first game in the new Friday streams that we do, right? And as you guys may or may not know, it is a game all about a colony, a group of friends, if you will, just trying to survive on a harsh planet. And normally you would play by getting the group together and they would build like a little base, set up some defenses... Uh, slowly grow into a larger group and things like that we're not gonna play exactly like that we're gonna play wrong right we're not gonna do it right essentially we're gonna try our best of course but there is a very very real chance that we are going to die <laughs> to put it to put it kindly because you see i want everyone to kind of have their own space right i think it would be fun to try and instead of you know having one big group with with walled off and defenses and things like that i'm thinking what if the three people that we start with are like a group of travelers or something like that right and we'll just have to role play this because it's it's not something you can really do in the game i mean you could like set up a custom scenario or something but we're not doing all that anyways point is i'm thinking like what if they were a group of travelers and they decided to set up a roadside town essentially right they all decide you know what i like this spot i think we should live here and they start setting up their homes and then shops and then slowly it just builds larger and larger over time into more and more of a of a town right uh we have a bunch of different mods to make like <laughs> three wise men role play anytime uh <laughs> but uh yeah so like uh, um shit completely lost my train of thought anyways so yeah that, that, that's something we have a bunch of mods to make that possible i think that's what i was saying so we have mods so like we'll have we'll have people come over and they can actually buy things from us um so people will be able to have their own little individual shops that they'll run i have mods so that i have a lot more control over people's schedules of like where they can and can't go at any time so that because normally in rim world right you can go like anywhere the group can and you can like micromanage things and change it around but that would be annoying like every night i don't want to have to tell nate to go and spend the night in his own home you know like that would just be too much of a pain in the ass uh and then like every morning have to change it so then he can go to do his work and etc cetera, etc cetera. so I, I i downloaded some mods to make that a little bit easier to handle as well all kinds of mods there's also i'm also using the vanilla expanded mods uh, it's a whole big group of mods so so there's like a bunch of extra food stuff and clothing and weapons and all different kinds of things uh we're also doing a heist apparently so hell yeah let's join that real quick we're oh we also have the uh dubs bad hygiene is another mod that i really enjoy um i guess i could pull up the the mod list here so i don't forget anything uh, these are all just the regular one damage indicators. I just like damage indicators in games colony managers a lot of fun that gives you let's say like you can have a manager um, That that you know helps manage your stuff for you You can also get an AI to do it for you a little later on, but I'm also going to do the research a little bit differently. I think uh, Medical tab EDB prepare carefully or just whatever miscellaneous robots you can get Roombas basically uh, Hospitality we talked about that quality builders just a quality of life thing same with all of these things honestly uh da -da, follow me deep storage is really cool that gives you things like cabinets and pallets and things that you can put more than one item on for storage that's really nice replace stuff auto cut blight level up blah 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 just a bunch of whatever realistic rooms i don't know if this mod's even working because it's for an older version of the game but it allows you to have smaller rooms without people being mad about it basically uh is there anything like major that i'm missing i don't 
think so. Like I said, a bunch of vanilla expanded stuff. A bunch. <laughs> uh, jewelry is part of the vanilla things. Doormats. Yeah. Oh, that's the other thing. Yeah. So uh, I also added private bits <laughs> to the colony and animals um, that they can lose. Uh, and with that, I also added a children mod, which is kind of terrible because anybody who's seen RimWorld before knows that terrible things tend to happen to the pawns in the game. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But yes, I did. I did add children to the game. I do actually need to make one mod adjustment to that. I want to make it so children age up very, very quickly, essentially. Uh, tweaks galore just because a bunch of cool stuff with that. And that's that's about it. That's about it. Um who lived stream all the steam and mr noodle everyone else died sorry guys uh okay so that's that that's that's kind of out of the way i just kind of wanted to explain what we're doing um but yeah shall we get into the game i think i think maybe we should get into the game and then we'll just uh kind of go from there i do need to make that one change real quick before i forget though i got a new mouse so it's gonna take me a minute to get used to the mouse uh we need the children children's school and learning uh, not disable. Child age. Wait. Age of generated children. Okay. So they can be... <laughs> they are born at 14, I guess? I, I don't know at what age people can start doing stuff in the game. Um, so we'll just leave it on the default of 14 for now. Minimum age to learn at school. Max age to learn at school. 16. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah, so yeah, if they if they start at 14, that means there's only two years of them being in a school. So that that that'll work. That'll work, I think. Turns out that the creator of the mod had a decent idea, you know? They they <laughs> they play tested their own mod and, and did decent things with it. Uh we're most definitely gonna have to move around some UI elements too, because, you know, first time streaming the game and things like that, things are definitely going to not be in proper places. So shout at me if anything is in the way and we will we will fix it we'll move it in fact i already know that chat is going to be in a bad spot i actually don't know if there is a good spot for chat to be completely honest with you um there's really not <laughs> uh i like having chat on screen but we might have to de define food <laughs> whoa whoa ice cream room Ice cream is a good depression food. It's not good for you, per se, but it tastes wonderful. Uh, oh, there is one other thing, too, before we get started. We're going to get started real soon, I promise. There is one other thing, though. You guys were so awesome, uh, exceeding that goal massively. But uh, the other thing... What I want to do going forward, right? And I've, I've thought about this for a while on how I want to slowly ramp up the amount of streaming and whatnot that, that we do. Um... So we started with with 10 subs. You guys didn't uh, necessarily know that, but that's that was the thing in my head. If we if we exceeded 10 subs, we would add another stream, but we had already exceeded that. So whatever. So my plan is we're going to double that and then add it to the last one. So we need a 10. So then now we need 20 plus the 10 to 30. So if we somehow get to 30 subs, we will add more streaming and then we'll just keep ramping it up until eventually we're like full time. If we ever get there, if not, then whatever. So our goal now is to get to 30 subs, man. Um, someday, no rush. I don't want anyone like donating a massive amount of subs or anything like that because I am gonna have the stipulation that it has to be like two months in a row to make it work uh, or just two months in general, I guess. It doesn't necessarily have to be in a row. Anyways, you get the point. I don't want anyone like being crazy and just being like, here's 30 subs I'm donating. Like I want it to grow naturally over time. Obviously, I very much appreciate whenever people donate the subs, but yeah, don't don't do anything crazy, guys. <laughs> but uh, we are going to more new new streams, more streams, and new streams, new new and I I don't know how to put this more streams with more variety no i don't like the way that looks up just more streams we're just gonna put more streams for now i don't know uh and we're going to do total subs and our goal is 30 apparently i already typed that in oh that's actually the recommended goal from twitch well that that works out 
anyways. <laughs> so there we go. We got that all. Strems. Wait, did I mistype it? Okay, no, I didn't, I didn't mistype it. You had me confused there for a second. Okay, now with that, let's actually get into it. Um, this is going to go here somewhere. It's going to cover up some stuff, like, no matter where I put it is the, the annoying part. But I guess I can't really do much about that. Where's my little dude at? I mean, I see the little dude, but... Twitch chat, full screen cap, background. I don't. Oh, it's they're they're it's the pop ups. I'm an idiot. There we go. And we want that like just right in the corner. We'll put that like there, and then we'll put this like right underneath it. I guess. I don't know. We're probably gonna have to move it, but that's fine. Let's just get into it now, shall we? New colony, man. Let's freaking go. We're gonna start with the regular crash landed. Uh. Because, I don't know, it's the, the normal start, so we're going to hit next on that. We're going to go Phoebe Chillax, because I do want this to be a little bit more about, like, the base building and things. But I still want us to be able to die. <laughs> so, we're going to start on Community Builder, I think. But we may take it up to Adventure Story, just so we get some of the, the bigger events and things. Um, we, we also have like a lot of new scenarios and things in place that I, I don't know anything about. I don't know how bad they can get. Uh, so yeah, I want to do eventually some of the more difficult stuff just so we get more of that. We do have all these extra AI storytellers too that I downloaded, but they sound crazy. So we're not going to mess with that right now. Nate, it's only like 360 bucks to donate 30 for two months. Yeah, see, I don't, I'm, I, I appreciate the thought, but like, bruh, no, <laughs> nobody needs to do that. Uh, the one other thing I do kind of want to do, I hate the insects. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to disable them. Has anyone here really played RimWorld? Do they know anything about it? Uh, I just, I, I want to know how other people feel if they know anything about it. If not, I'm just going to turn them off because I'm not a big fan of them. But if somebody like really wants them in the game, then like by all means, I will add them in or turn them on. But we only have like right now to decide basically. I'm thinking no, to be to be completely honest. Uh, we're going to do a, a large planet. It'll be fine. It says it can take a very long time. It won't take that long. Don't worry. Nobody's saying anything, so I'm thinking no insects. We're going to turn the insects off because... Fuck them. Gameplay problems can occur with more than 11 factions. Wait, how many factions are enabled? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve? No, I, nine, I guess, I guess ten. Okay, so what do we want then? I mean, regular bandits are always good and fine. Pirates are fun. Junkers, cool. Mercenaries are kind of lame. Civil Kingdom, cannibal pirate gang, yes, please. Oh, wait, are we already at the max? Holy shit, dude. You know what? Screw it. <laughs> We're just going to turn them all on. Whatever. It'll be fine. What's the worst that'll happen, right? You're curious? You don't have that kind of spare money, sadly. And honestly, if I didn't, just go to a direct donation with an amount like that to skip the Twitch cut. Fair. Fair. Uh, but, again, <laughs> not necessary by any means. Okay, let's click generate. It's going to take a minute. So, yeah. Uh, to go along with, with RimWorld, I did add, I, I, I want to add more eventually as I kind of come up with more ideas, but as of right now, there are new, two new Twitch point goal things that you can, that you can buy with your, with your Twitch points, not with the Streamlab points. Those are one to, to have someone named after you. So like the next character that's going to be named will be named after you. So this is everyone's chance. If they want one of the first three people to be named after them. You can you can do that now. If we don't if we don't have three people buy it, then I'll just take like three people from chat, either randomly or the first three people to, to speak up or whatever. But you can buy that now. I think it's like two thousand five hundred points or something like that. And uh, like how you can make me take a drink noodle in that in that menu. There's there's a thing there to have a uh, pawn named after you. And then since people are gonna have like their own land that they own and kind of take care of. Um, I also have another one in there so that you can buy more land, essentially, for the game. Uh, like I said, we're playing this completely wrong, 
and that's okay we're gonna see how it goes probably very poorly but it's gonna be fun you want one I know I know noodle wants one so uh if nobody if three people don't buy it's going to go noodle and then Nate asks for one next so there goes Nate okay Nate just bought one so he definitely gets a pawn get a pawn yes that's the one the, the RimWorld, the characters in RimWorld are generally called pawns. So there you go. Noodle gets one. And then if uh, nobody buys the third slot in the next few or whenever we get there, then I'll just uh, randomly give it to one of the two people. Why not? Uh, I don't really care where we start, but I do want to be near a road. So yeah, that's not... Or actually, I want to be on a road, preferably. Where's like the major roads? We're just going to keep selecting random until we get like a road, man. This looks like a pretty major road. Yes, this goes like everywhere. And we're right near the Choco Wasteland, which <laughs> I don't know why, but I just imagine Chocobo, that is, that's their wasteland right there. Like they, they own that wasteland. So why don't we go like right on the border of the Chocobo Wasteland? Do we want it to be like on a corner with a river, all kinds of stuff? Hey, what's up, Hattie? Welcome to the stream, man. Um, I, I'm just worried about that taking up too much of our of our of our land uh, it's a colony management game <laughs> it's a uh, it's interesting it uses an ai storyteller to dynamically tell a a story and usually people die in hilarious ways um <laughs> chocobo gets the third pawn you got it man i mean it's only fitting since you know your wasteland is right there uh yeah i think we're gonna i think we're gonna go <laughs> chocobo wasteland it is i think we're gonna go right off of the river i do have something that adds fishing in as well so it'd be nice to have some water but i imagine we'll probably have some water here anyways um i'm thinking i'm thinking right here actually instead of being like on the main road just maybe off the main road a little bit i like that i like that we're gonna go with the the regular size map and all that bs and hit next okay so this is one of the dlcs for the game they added this whole ideology system so you basically have like a, a religion and a set of laws that your that your group follows um i think we're going to do fluid so with fluid you you start a very simple cult religion law system or whatever and then you can gain like points over time or something like that and uh that add and you can change it kind of as time goes on so i think i kind of want to do that i think that would be fun full disclosure uh what gave me the idea for for this style of run was uh quill 18 a uh twitch streamer slash youtuber that i really enjoy um and he did something similar, but I'm kind of taking it to the extreme. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, this is just our symbol. It actually doesn't affect gameplay basically at all. Like, it, it does change some of the symbols on things and whatnot. And some of the uh, some of the, the presets, but you can still change things. I just chose Pantheism because I, I like that in real life. Uh, but there's also Eldritch Cult, which I just, you know, <laughs> it's just fun. Uh corporate origin another fun one i guess i don't even know what this is the true face of gods has found the bite of a spider the sting of the scorpion let those of many legs crawl all over us oh god yeah i don't think we're doing that one i don't have problems with spiders or things with a bunch of legs but also we have the insects disabled so i think we're just gonna go with with pantheism as the as the starter there all right and this is where we actually start changing the game in some ways here they said, it's not necessary, but if I had that kind, I would legit drop that anytime I could. One of my buddy streamer had something of the such going on. Money is stupid paper that's just needed to buy things. This is this is too true. This is too true. <laughs> um, okay, so we have to start setting up our, our laws that we live by. I don't want anything crazy in the start. Um, each person is a free individual with the right to their own ideas and decisions. Nobody should be made to conform. I kind of like that one. I don't like that slavery is honorable. That kind of... How does that go with individualists? Nobody should be made to conform, but slavery is honorable. By default, again, we can we can change some of these things, and we definitely will. What else do we have? God Emperor? I mean... <laughs> hmm. I'm sure Noodle would love that one, uh, because they want to be the God Emperor. 
We have progressive machines, factories, drones. Okay, so that's like something cool that would to, to work towards. But again, I kind of want the, the research in the game to slowly ramp up, right? To start slow, like very medieval-like, and then slowly we'll get more and more technology as time goes along. Although refrigeration in this game is huge. So I don't know, we might we might grab some refrigeration earlier than, than otherwise. Astrology, a careful examination of the stars will unlock mystical powers far beyond our wildest imagination. Uh, maybe. I think, I think maybe symbol burning, marriage name, keep names. Each person is part of a greater whole. People should work to play their part and help the group. Each person is a free individual with the right to their own ideas and decisions. Nobody should be made to conform. Uh, I wish there was like a random button. That would be cool. I kind of, I don't know. Let's do, let's start with individualists and then we'll, oh wait, there's a randomized button. Uh, yep, not doing that. <laughs> okay, so it chose progressive city builders. Our home should feature the accommodation of a great city. Homes, workshops, and places of leisure should all be present and accessible by all. Travel is despised. Permanent bases desired. Okay, that's not too bad. I mean, I kind of wanted to do city builder-esque stuff anyways. Human primacy. Humans are the moral center of the universe. Hmm. <laughs> Symbol burning prevents slaughtering animals prohibited. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, turn off that one. We will pick another one instead. Light? No. Sweet teeth? Fishing culture. Bushido? Traders. With wealth comes power. Uh, trading price improved. Trading is required. Craft culture? Craft culture is kind of nice. What is, is our duty to spread our belief? No. <laughs> I think I maybe craft culture, skilled labor uh, requires skilled labor, slow or relax. Leader is the best crafter. Crafting quality is increased, but speed is slower. I don't really want it to be slower. Mining yield high, wood cutting yield. So everything is good. But skilled labor is either slower. Maybe we just go city builder and and progressive. Maybe we maybe we do that. Maybe we do that. We'll take that for now. Um so can we like rename ourselves? We can. What do we want the name of our cult to be? <laughs> the all-encompassing way? I don't know, man. Like it doesn't have a bad ring to it, but I don't know if I want to be the all-encompassing way. I'm just gonna leave the rest because I don't really, I don't really care what it's called. I guess. I mean, the ritual hall could be like the the Rue cult, <laughs> the cult of Rue. <laughs> oh God, the ritual room could be like the town hall or something like that, because that's kind of the the idea, right? We're building up a a town uh the member noun are i guess just town town members town what do you call somebody who lives in a town i don't know adjective people <laughs> member noun person just just city city member city i don't know i mean it works the cult of Rue. Um, <laughs> member noun. The ritual. <laughs> do I have to do everything? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> the ritual. <laughs> Or is that the ritual room? The ritual? <laughs> no, I, th I think you meant the name of our cult. Or no, or is that what you meant? Or is that the ag adjective? Which one did you mean it for? I'm stupid. I'm gonna, I think, I think this was meant to be the cult of Rue still. Cult of Rue. Ritual? <laughs> I don't, I don't, this is, oh god, this is already going great. While you guys, while you guys think about that for a second, I'm gonna find a symbol here. Uh, we could be a pokeball. That's a thing, I guess. Um, 
<laughs> Name of call if Rue likes it. <laughs> okay. The <laughs> you adore it, of course you do. So, okay, so if that's the name of the cult, then we're Rutualists. Uh, would be a member noun, right? Rutualist. Ritual room is the room of Ru. Stray on anything besides PlayStation PC. It's also on PC. Random question, but that's it. It's just on PlayStation and PC. Adjective is... I... Okay. Oh, no. Wait. I want to reset everything, not just the one. Lame. Uh... Oh, shit. Oh, it's the room of room. Room of room. Oh, that's not... There we go. Oh, Layton wants to play. Okay. Yeah, it's just PC and PlayStation. Adjective. D d ritual light? I don't... <laughs> sure, whatever. I don't know. I'm tired of messing with it. Uh, And then our symbol is going to be that. Because, I don't know. Why not? Unless somebody has a preferred symbol. Just looking through them, I don't personally have any in particular in mind. Just, just that one. <laughs> just the spoon, fork, and knife, man. That's all you need in life. Fuck it. Done. Okay, so... The, the narrative. I don't know if I want to go, like... I don't know if I want to go that deep into it. Like, do we want to change our narrative? That just seems like it's going to take forever. Edit deity. Deity name. The Rue. Deity title. All pervasive totality. No gender. Done. There was a never-ending void. In that void, the Rue was formed, thus beginning the reckoning of time. The Rue said to all the Rutualists, Manual labor is not sacred to me. Indeed, you are honoring me by freeing your time, by automating your tasks, following the teachings of the Rue. We struggle to become the richest faction of all. Poets will sing about prosperity and opulence long after we are gone. There we go. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> fuck it. I like it. Maybe we can let her borrow PS4. I mean, maybe. The Call to Dragoon and the Ritual Room is the dining dish. <laughs> That's a good idea, too. I like the, the Call to Dragoon. Just a call back to an old PS1 game. Like, trying to find the name generator thing to buy. Uh, if it's not popping up, maybe, maybe refresh. It's the same. It's under the same uh, area where you do, like... Oh wait, you already you already got one. Rimworld, get a pawn. You already got one. I'm confused. Anyways, okay, permanent bases are desired. That's fine. Travel, I don't think it should be despised. Okay, it's required. Never mind. Travel's despised. Automation efficiency increased. Crafting speed slower from manual. We can't change any of that. I don't want to do too much of this stuff because again, we can change these later as we go on. I just want to make sure there's nothing terrible execution is horrible if innocent that's fine slavery is abhorrent that's fine clothing pants and shirt uh let's have it be no rules i don't really care what people you wear organ use no harvest yeah i mean <laughs> so rue is a god yes rue is <laughs> rue is a god i guess uh cannibalism's bad blindness is horrible um Oh, we can't, we can't change that. Okay. Corpses, ugly. That's fine. Humanoid hybrids, disliked. I mean, whatever. Fungus, despise. Why would fungus be despised? I don't care. Genetic failures. Physical love, prohibited. No, not prohibited. <laughs> uh, free. Do whatever the hell you want. Nutrient paste, we do what, oh, nope, can't, can't change it. Scarification, dumb labor, indifferent, death is normal. Skull spikes are disapproved of. Illness is indifferent. I think sweets? Oh, no. No, I can't change it to crave. If I change it to crave, that's going to make things really hard. But maybe later on, we'll all uh, we'll all be eating sweets 24-7. Okay. <laughs> the leader of the group. I'm going to make that be 
mayor because we are a town after all is what we're trying to is what we're trying to do if i could type holy shit i can't okay and then what kind of apparel do we want a mayor to have to wear in this town right Oh, you meant for cult name, but Rue was already suggested and being debated on when I found it. Gotcha. Uh, is there anything, like, fancy that we want people to have to wear if they're a mayor? A fez? Yep. Done. <laughs> the moral guide. Building spiritualist? Who is our moral guides in this city? Um, wise... I'm thinking, I'm trying to think of, like, something stupid. Like, I'm, I, I have in my mind, like, you know, the, the homeless man that gives really good advice or something like that. Uh, the mm, philosopher, spiritualist, maybe just, maybe just philosopher. I mean, I don't know. Thinker of the Rue. <laughs> Sure. There we go. Thinker of the Rue. That's... <laughs> and they also must wear a fez. Or a head bag. <laughs> we can make them wear a head bag. A wreath. Wreath just sounds kind of dumb. And that makes me want it even more. I'm going to put wreath for now. If somebody wants to, has a better suggestion, then we'll change it. But funeral is fine. Oh, wait. Progressive internment. <laughs> oh, God. Morning of automation. The Rue's morning. <laughs> All-encompassing morning. Eulogy of the Rue. Social festival. Jubilee of the Rue. <laughs> sure. Yep, that's what it is. Uh, the Rutualite form is our, our special sculpture that we get. The building is the Divine Chancel. The Rue Shrine. Divine Platform. Uh, can we do Altar of the Rue? The Rue Altar? Yeah, Altar of the Rue. There we go. How many times can we say Rue in one stream? A lot. <laughs> Relics of Cities. Auto Remembrance. Auto Crossbow. Lightlier. Auto Heirloom. Deep Nexus. Relics of Cities. I mean, that's fine. Whatever. These are our, our like special relics. Divine Implant, Hexlight, Divine Heirloom, Dark Focus. Uh, I don't know. Long Mass made of steel. That's... <laughs> oh, God. Um, everything is fine. I don't really... I'm just going to chain... Or I'm just going to leave this stuff. Is there anything that's, like, not allowed? Wait. There's mustaches that aren't, that aren't allowed? Why is that? I mean, it can be rare. Why would it never be allowed? Mustaches are forbidden in this uh, in this world. All of that can be rare. I don't care. Yeah, I don't want anything to be disallowed. Hair types? Oh my god, there's so many. Just... Oh. Some of those had, like, some that were set to normal. But whatever. It's fine. I mean, if we're going for city, I guess... Urban... Rural? Holy shit, I can't talk. Can you name it a Rubilee? <laughs> it's a Jubilee of the Rubilee? <laughs> that's what it's going to be now. Oh, I don't think that's what you meant for it to be, but that's what it is. Jubilee of the Rubilee. Hell yeah. Done. Oh, wait. And then random recruit. Our Jubilee of the Rubilee will be so amazing that sometimes people will randomly join the group. Sky Lantern Festival? Oh, Christmas tree party. Yes. First of December. Uh, I don't know. 7th of December. Why not? The Rue celebration. Party of the Rue. The Rue's party. Chris. There's got to be a Christmas pun. The ritual forbids petal mustaches. I am loving this. <laughs> Building of celebration. Yes to the Christmas. 
the Rumus, of course, of course. How how did I miss that one? The Rumus. And it's got to be again in Christmas though, seventh of December. -y. And ancient complex. What do we want? Nearby faction goodwill. People will like us whenever we do. Whenever we do that. Oh, we need a Christmas tree. Um, as a building. Add building. Christmas tree. The enlightened pine. Tree of the rue, of course. The ruse pine. Done. And then pedo stashes. Was that was that a thing? Is that what you would call pedo stash? I don't really feel like either of these are are, are pedo stashy, but. How far back can you go? What do you want to change? <laughs> I think if I hit back, I don't think it'll break anything. And then we have all of this stuff up here and whatnot that we can that we can change. Oh, and then I guess this is something else that I can do is I can save it in case something gets messed up. The rue dash t the root. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> uh. And you know I'm going to call it the Rudashti the whole time. Rudashti. The holy person can be the... <laughs> the holy person. Okay. So is that the, the moral guide? Is that who you mean by holy person? Or do you mean... Up here where we have... Uh... this person like the the deity i think rue might riot if we we change the deity <laughs> but if you're talking about moral guide though what critiques there <laughs> that's our our moral guide are the twat critiques i think i think we're good i think we're good if anyone has any other suggestions that they really want before we uh, go into it, then that's fine. But uh, I think I think we're set. We're going to wait just a minute to see if anyone throws anything out there. We haven't even got into the game yet, and I'm already loving it, man. This is, <laughs> this is going to be terrible and fun at the same time. No, the moral guide. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. I thought that's what you meant, but... All right, next, let's go. So here's our three people. Um, we are, the only thing that I'm gonna do is make sure to randomize it so we get three people that are like of a relatively decent age so that, you know, people aren't just like instantly dying. Also, Noodle just brought me up food. Thank you, Noodle, it looks delicious. So like the first person here, age 46, I mean, that's not that bad. But they're already menopausal, so that's that's a little much. Uh, this person, do, do, holy fuck. Chemical interest, martial artist, slow learner, gourmand, and jogger. Sure, whatever. <laughs> We're going to randomize a few of them. Age 41 is not too bad. Just a couple things you can't do. Alcohol addiction? No. Whoa, that's a no. God, people really like being menopausal here, huh? Okay. You don't seem too bad. Animal lover, a bit squeamish. That could be a problem. Uh, sour stomach plagues cold anytime they're around too much blood or rotting corpses. Hmm. Cole believes animals are integral to the way society and life function from furry friends to sources of food. They love having as many as possible and are particularly good at training and training them. Interesting. Okay. That doesn't seem too bad. Paula also doesn't seem too bad. The one problem that I'm seeing here is we don't have anyone that really likes to build things. Um, so who's the worst part? You're level four. But you kind of you kind of suck. Chemical fascination. Animal hater. Well, oh, you can show head here. Okay, no, you you suck bad. No, I don't want any addiction. No, I want people that can do everything at least. Okay, you can cook. You just suck at it. Perfectionist? Strives for, for perfection in work. 
Global work speed times 0.65. Creepy breather. Pyromaniac stoner, of course, of course. Trigger hap... Okay, we're getting too picky. We're getting too picky. We're going to just leave it here. Careful shooter, cat person, ecologist. Flora and Fauna are both vital to Sophie. They use all parts of plants and animals and strongly appreciate Mother Gaia's blessings. Okay, that's that's fine. We can deal with that. I still wish we had somebody that was decent at building things, but I guess it'll be fine. We have no good intellectual person, so no good doctors or, or researchers. That could potentially be a problem, but we'll make it work. We'll make it work. And then no good constructors, constructors or miners. I don't think we're going to be doing too much mining because I'm pretty sure the area we're in is, is relatively flat. Got to take a bite. Maybe if I stop dripping. You want to be pyro stoner? I'm pretty sure we got rid of that guy. And I'm just going to go from top to bottom in the order that uh, that the names came in. Just to be fair to everyone. But yeah, I think, I think that's, I think that's what we got, man. I think these are our guys. We just got to go for it. Okay, so from top to bottom, the first one that came in was Chocobo Enthusiast. Hey, Psycho, thank you so much for the resub, man. Man, the building takes forever. What do you mean? Building takes forever. Okay, so this is going to be... I think your name's too too large for the whole thing, so we're just going to do that. Chocobo, you will have chemical interest. You're a slow learner, but you jog. You're a gourmand and a martial artist, naturally. And then number two, the second one that came in was Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle, you are a 23-year-old man, and you're an animal lover squeamish that actually fits pretty pretty good in there oh you're incapable of dumb labor though okay here's what we're gonna do i've decided that we're gonna cheat a little bit <laughs> that's what we're gonna do mr noodle we are getting rid of whatever makes you incapable of dumb labor i'm assuming it's the fact that you were once a lordling which i mean fits with what you want to be but <laughs> There we go. That looks that looks better. Medical assistant and capable of firefighting? No, dude, come on. Industrial orphan. There you go. You can be an industrial orphan. But you're still a 23-year-old man. I'm not changing. I'm not changing the rest. <laughs> is it almost time for a stretch? It's almost time for a stretch. It is, actually. I want to finish preparing before we take our first break though cuz holy shit. I want to get into the actual game too, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, and then the last person to put in the name request was Nate. So Nate, L-I-S-T-E-R, nope. So Nate, a list. <laughs> That's you now. You are a 17-year-old woman. Uh, you're an ecologist, careful shooter, and cat person. You also got a bite scar at some point. I'm assuming from a cat. That just seems natural. Um, you know how it is. And since we're already in here cheating, I'm going to give someone some construction skill. So the worst of the three people... Plants, animals, artistic. Really good crafter. Chocobo is. Um, Mr. Noodle. You're pretty decent at things. Honestly, I think it might be Nate. Nate, you are going to get a couple extra points in construction and double passion for it because you don't have double passion for anything. Whereas the other two people at least have some double passion. Chocobo, we're also going to give you passion for intellectual, I guess, because we didn't have anyone good at that. There we go. Start. Confirm. Loading in. Hopefully. Hopefully game don't crash I did start up the game to make sure the mods worked and things like that so hopefully there's no uh there we go okay dope so let's get a quick look at our map and then we're gonna take our break and then we're gonna actually start playing 
the game. So give that a good pause. Oh, that's another mod I wanted to get. One that lets us uh, zoom out farther. I forgot about that. Okay, so it's a pretty, pretty open map. Uh, we do have this road coming through with a couple weird looking bridges, but is what it is, I suppose. The road, honestly, is a fair bit smaller than I expected it to be, but that's fine. Vote on Noodle for mayor. Noodle really wants to be mayor, man. Where is... Do we have a dangerous room anywhere? It might be that one, possibly. But okay. We're going to go ahead and take our quick break, guys. And then when we come back, we're actually going to start setting up where everyone's going to live and uh, their jobs and things like that. So I hope you're enjoying yourself. I definitely am. We'll be our beat. It's a weird path that it seems to be setting us down. Is this uh, is this GPS working? Oh, 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 oh. wait. <laughs> Man, you suck at turning. Wow, Rue. That is rude. <laughs> I'm just getting a feel for it, you know? Is there a handbrake? Oh, no. That's look behind us. Triangle switches that. I should have remembered that. Uh, R1. Is, what is R1? Is that... A, that feels like it's some sort of break. Is that the handbrake? L1. Oh, that's... That's NOS. <laughs> then L2 and R2. I don't really think they do anything. There's probably like a, a control thing we could see somewhere. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's definitely the... <laughs> The handbrake. Either that or the rain actually makes the road much slippier than, uh... Yeah, no, I think that's the handbrake, because <laughs> we slid like mad. Oh, man, the visibility is not very far in this game, especially when it's raining, is it? Holy crap. I think uh, we're supposed to be here somewhere. Thankfully, you can't really damage your car, because, uh... <laughs> I would be screwed. Is it, like, in this, in this here? Where are we going? Hello? Game? Where am I going? I'm lost. Alright, turn around. Man, you suck at turning and stopping? <laughs> nice crash. Thanks, guys! <laughs> I just suck at driving. Wow. Very supportive. There we go. I couldn't find the entrance to this area, okay? Would you like to enter the shop? Let's do it. Lol. <laughs> You're funny. Well, thank you. <laughs> You're doing great. See? See, Mr. Noodle is supportive, at least. The rest of y'all are just mean. <laughs> I don't remember the cutscenes being like this. Like a, uh, like a comic book or something. Noodle has to be. She's your girlfriend. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Still. How much cash do we have to start out with? That's the question here. Do I have enough to make a difference? Or, like, are we just going to end up with the crappiest car known to man? I believe in you. Thank you. Thank oh, you, hey, Nate. See? Two people yeah, support I'm me. <laughs> You saw 50? This should be enough the cost of any one of these rides. I'll check in with you later. Alright, so we got a Mazda Miata, MX5, a Honda Civic, Nissan 240SX. Do we not get a preview of the car? Oh there we go. It's just being slow as crap to load, I guess. Rouge just here for the singing. Nobody should be here for the singing. The singing is terrible. Hey, let's uh, I'm not gonna worry about the looks of the car. I'm just gonna I'm gonna look at the stats. Let's see handling I mean we could probably use some of that <laughs> uh, Top speed acceleration is crap. Although the handling's good on that one Nissan eh, a little bit of both Mazda Miata's up there Honda Civic it has a slightly higher top speed. It looks like than the others. Uh, maybe not. It still looks like it's at the bottom Miazda's got Oh, uh, screen disappeared. Let's, uh, get that back. There we go. There's a part of me, honestly. Hello, I'm back, by the way. There's a part of me, honestly, that thinks Noodle just decided to make me dinner tonight because, uh, as a bribe to get, to get me to, to make her mayor in the, in the game. <laughs> but all right. So where do we want everyone to live? 
I mean, we spawn, like, in the center of the map. I guess it makes kind of have some sense to be in the middle of the map, right? Who, if you guys are still there, specifically Chocobo, Mr. Noodle, and Nate, do you guys want to live, like, closer to the center of town, farther away? Do you guys have any preferences for your homes? Like... Because if you do, please do. Let me know. If I haven't noticed, you always make the grilled cheese dinner lately. You have been. And this time, it's really good, Noodle. You did a really good job, honestly. I'm thinking... Like, we probably don't want to be right on the road, right? Maybe just, like, right off the, the edge of the, row, the road. We're probably going to need, like, a, a small starting stuff. Like a, a shared stockpile in the beginning and things like that, at the very least. <laughs> hmm. Noodle wants to be in the middle so they're protected at all times, since they are the mayor. Obviously. There's this, uh... Old little house right here. Okay. Tell you what, Noodle. Let's go to zone. And then we are going to name this Manage Areas, New Area, and we will call this, we're just using this to kind of gauge out where we want people's homes and things to be. Um, so we're going to call this one just Noodle, that's not how you spell Noodle, holy shit I can't type. And then we'll have one called Choco, and one called Nate. These aren't going to be permanent. This is just so we can kind of get a feel for where everyone wants to be. Expand allowed area. Let's do noodle first. Noodle already said they want to be near the middle. So maybe, maybe like right around here somewhere. The veggies or the sandwiches? Both, noodle, both. You didn't get ice cream, but butter toast is oddly satisfying. Butter toast is always one of them foods to just hit the spot. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, so... And I think for, like, starting areas, you guys will get, like, I don't know, 14 by 9 as a plot of land. Seems pretty decent, right? You can have, like, a small, a little tiny house somewhere, a little hut to live in, a little bit of a, you know what? It'll be 15 by 9. Um, that way it's odd numbers. Odd numbers are easier to center things in. So 15 by 9. Those will be your guys' starting area. So that'll be Noodle's starting area. Nobody said any preferences, so we are going to separate people a little bit just because. Chocobo, what was your specialties? You are a smith, a tailor, just a, a general crafter, and you also like to cook. So you're going to end up running, at least for now, the town like bakery. So we probably don't want you too far off. Access to some metals up here, maybe. Maybe we'll have you be, like, right over here somewhere. Same size. 15 by 9. Optijack, what's up, man? Hello, hello. Happy to see you, bro. And then finally, we got Nate. Nate, you still around, boy? Do you have a preference on where you want to be, sir? You are... What's your specialty? Animal handler. Noodle's also a really good animal handler. We'll have to keep that in mind. You're mainly, that's right, you're mainly the constructor and also you like to grow stuff. Okay, so let's see. If you like to grow stuff, you're going to want somewhere with a fair bit of possibly fertile land. So maybe like this area right here near the water kind of seems pretty decent for you, right? Oh, is that a, I think that's a patch of fertile land right there, actually. So you know what? We're going to put you right over maybe on this side of the road because maybe we'll have fields or something over on that side so let's go back to zone expand allowed area nate you can have again i want to take you off the road a little bit but you can have that plot of land right there now the only downside i wish is there a way to show zones all the time there are so many options over here because of mods yes automatically rebuild things do that Uh, yes, you can show me the coverage for everything, basically. 
You just got out of the hellhole, Optijack? I... Sorry. <laughs> that sucks, man. Sure, show me all that stuff. All of it. Go ahead. Terror overlay? I don't even know what that is. Health overlay? Okay, nope. <laughs> Not doing that one. Steam grid? Cold water grid? All kinds of grids. Oh, yeah, we can also, like, eventually get up to, like, having nuclear reactors and shit like that, too. I just want one that shows our things all the time, our, our zones. That would be very handy, actually. I guess there isn't one. Lame. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll just have to hop back into here anytime we want to see. So, Noodle, your allowed area is right here. So, let's go and do structure. Um... I think I have a blueprint mod, don't I? I should have just used that, actually. That would have been much smarter. Okay, I think the blueprint mod's broke. <laughs> Left click to create a new blueprint. Nothing select. Oh, we have to, like, actually select something. There's Is there a planning tool? Orders. Plan. There we go. This was This is what we should have done. So I'm going to redraw your guys' allowed zones with this. That makes more sense. And then we had Nate just kind of up here somewhere. doesn't have to be exactly the same. And then we had Chocobo. You were over here-ish. There we go. Something like that. That helps so much more. Okay, we're going to go on just slow speed so people can start doing some things. Uh, let's also allow everything on the map so people can start, you know, eating and doing all of that stuff. First thing we need to do, though, is get people somewhere to just sit stuff. So for now, we're just going to have a generic stockpile zone kind of in the middle of town somewhere. And then a generic dumping stockpile for everything else. Just, I don't know, over here. Because this will eventually be like a warehouse or something like that. This, this building that already exists here might as well make use of it. So there you go. You can just dump random junk there. Um, okay. We want structures. Just regular walls for now. We just need to get small homes for everyone to live in. So we probably want to leave a couple spaces there. So you can have like a, I don't know, a fence or something. I mean, I guess you could be right on the front. Yeah, why not? Do like little... Seven by seven? Seven by five. That's big enough for, like, a bed and things like that. Get you a door in there, Mr. Noodle. And then we'll get you, like, a bed and stuff later. I think everyone's probably going to start with roughly the same layout for their homes. But things will obviously change depending on their, their rank and status and things later on. And then Chocobo. Let's just... Let's make it a little a little different, why not? Let's just go to the bottom edge. So different, I know. Throw a wooden door in there, awesome. Okay, so for now too, the other thing that I wanna do is, well, first off, change it to this. Let's get everyone on constructing for now. Well, I guess maybe not Mr. Noodle, because Mr. Noodle sucks at construction. So maybe let's skip that for now, man, actually. Make sure everyone is on hauling and cleaning and stuff. Good, good. They are. Excellent. Let's start getting those homes up, man. We're also going to need some sort of beds for everyone, at least. You suck. Wow, how rude, Noodle. Furniture. Uh, for now, you just sleep on the ground, but, I mean... Okay, what do you expect? There you go. And then we can actually assign these beds to specific people too. So that is assigned to Mr. Noodle. This one can be assigned to Nate. And this one can be assigned to Chocobo. Let's go. I'm going to take another bite of food while these people will slowly build their things and whatnot. Oh, and I missed your message, Noodle. I saw it, but I forgot to reply. The chefy tip for mac and cheese that Mr. Noodle was talking about. 
someone on where did you see it tiktok or something else somewhere else anyways for people who don't know you can use mayonnaise instead of butter when you're making um grilled cheese i actually really like it i think it makes a really good grilled cheese uh noodle wasn't the biggest fan but somebody somewhere showed them a tip where you just mix butter and mayo together and then you just do that oh did i say mac and cheese grilled cheese whatever same thing right what's the difference really <laughs> TikTok. You saw it on TikTok. I figured as much, but I couldn't remember. Okay, we'll speed it up just a little bit. Noodles Home is already already finished. The, the beginning of it, at least. Let's follow somebody around. We'll follow around Chocobo. Why not? Get an idea of what they're doing in their day. Oh, it's a chef that you follow shared it. Very cool. Well, it was a good tip. Because this grilled cheese is fantastic, dude. You did a great job with the noodle, honestly. Chocobo's just kind of chilling, staring at the sky, as you do. They are amazing, is what they are. Oh, I dropped the piece. I stuck the spoon in my mouth, but I wasn't paying attention. Wasn't anything even on it. What was the tip and what was it for? So, when you're making grilled cheese, you can replace the butter or oil, whatever you know you would normally fry your bread in, with mayonnaise. If you so desire, for some reason. Um, you don't have to or anything, but you can. And uh, Noodle didn't really like the taste of that, though. I, I do enjoy it. So, uh, the tip that she saw was just to mix half part butter, half part mayo... And use that for your for your grilled cheese. And it came out really good, honestly. Really good. Okay. We need to assign weapons to people. So who is our best hunter? Nate has a skill of three. Chocobo has a skill of five. Noodle also or I'm sorry, Noodle has a skill of three, but has passion for it. But Nate and Chocobo both have more skill right now. So I think, what's Chocobo doing? They're like the smith, craft, cook. That's super important, them being the cook. So I think Chocobo's going to end up getting the knife that we spawn with. Noodle, since you have double passion, even though you're not as good for it, you can have the bolt action rifle. And Nate, you can have the revolver as a weapon. That way, if we have you guys do any hunting or anything, we'll be able to actually, you know, do that. I find that being able to hunt is, you know, pretty helpful. So two of the three homes are actually already done. I'm kind of surprised about that. Not going to lie. Okay, now for people's food, right? They're going to grow their own food for the most part. But um, we probably will have, like, some sort of community garden or something. It depends on how, how well or how poorly <laughs> this whole experiment works out. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and give everyone a little growing zone in their backyard. Maybe. So if we have like a little bathroom over here. Or something, yeah, I think I think in the backyard probably makes the most sense. So. Maybe like a, a five by five for vegetables and then a little like three by five for something else for each people. Now, what plants do we want each people to have? There are so many because of some of the mods that I'm using. Holy hell. Um, okay, potatoes are pretty basic. This is Nate's house. What's your growing skill, Nate? Actually, pretty decent. Level 5. So, why don't you grow some... 
I don't know, some, some corn? Corn sounds like a pretty decent idea. If you can grow some corn. And do we have, what kind of fruits do we have? Anything interesting? Pumpkins, pineapple, onions, oats, Nutrifungus, green beans. Ah, dude, Noodle can grow green beans. They love green beans. <laughs> green beans and bell peppers? Hell yeah, dude. You can grow corn and some berries. Why not, man? That sounds like a plan. <laughs> for Noodle, we will... Gonna do the same layout for everyone. Oh. Oh. Now we want to uh, shrink zone by that much. I think it was, holy shit, I'm already forgetting. Five by five, yeah, that's right. So Noodle, what does Noodle actually want to grow? Noodle does like potatoes. Potatoes are relatively easy to grow. So maybe we leave it at that. And then for the other one, we can do garlic, tomatoes, sweet potatoes. Noodle is so picky in real life, man. I don't even know. Bell peppers, definitely. I mean, why not some carrots? Having some some variety would be nice, like a fruit and a vegetable. But you can do you can do carrots and potatoes, Noodle. There you go, man. Chocobo, you're also gonna need your own food eventually. So let's get you a little bit set up here. You can grow. I have no idea what foods you actually like in real life or anything, but uh some bell peppers or you know what no rice because i just know rice is like a quick growing plant in the game so that'll actually just be really useful for the <laughs> for the early game that's the only reason honestly and then um what's another decent one peanuts tomatoes why not some tomatoes that sounds good there we go. So we got everybody growing some food. You're also eventually going to want bathrooms, everybody is. And you're going to need somewhere to cook stuff. We might end up having to make these beginner home areas a little bit larger. Sorry, Chocobo, that you're still sleeping outside. We'll, uh, we'll get that fixed for you soon, bud. <laughs> Okay, um, so how do we want to lay out the rest of the house? That's a pretty decent size for, like, a room, but we're also going to need, what else are we going to need? A bathroom, at least somewhere to, you know, take a dump, and a kitchen. Hmm, the kitchen... I mean, you can technically cook outside, but it'd be nice to have a stove, maybe a sink. So let's just go into structure. We are already in structure. I'm smart. Are we out of wood? We are out of wood. Holy hell. Okay, well, that would explain why we're not uh, building anything else. Let's chop down some wood, maybe, man, so we can, <laughs> so we can, so we can keep building shit. That would actually be really helpful. Are you guys using Mayo Mayo or Miracle Whip? Uh, for this, I think you would want to use Mayo Mayo, just because of its high oil content. I'm not sure how well Miracle Whip would work. Holy how it took forever to chop down that tree. Okay, structure. There we go, wooden wall. So for a kitchen... That's like three tiles wide, right? So if the wall... So if we just doubled up like that, basically. We could have that there. Maybe like a sink over here or something. A door there. And then we'd have a little bathroom. It's going to be a tiny bathroom, man. Maybe we put like a little bathroom out the back somewhere. That's leaving, like, no space for hallways or anything later, though. Hmm. I might need to rethink this a little bit. Maybe... Maybe I do put the bathroom down here connected to the... Connected to the kitchen. Because we could eventually turn this into, like, a hallway or something. We'd have to move the garden and things, too, but... 
I mean, we, we put these limitations in to make our lives harder. We knew, I knew going into this that this was going to make our lives harder. So, I mean, <laughs> and then, yeah, so that'll be like a bathroom there. And then, okay, let's go back into to play mode. We're going to need another door. What's the difference between single door and wooden door? Single door takes less. Okay, so yeah, we'll do we'll do a single door. I have no idea how good or bad that looks, but then we'll have the the entrance to the kitchen just in the middle there as well, kind of like that. So then over here we want just a fueled stove because we're we're doing primitives right now. Honestly, this room ended up being a fair bit larger than I think it really needed to be. Hmm. So if we put a fueled stove there, do we have like a kitchen sink or anything le yet? Or we probably need to unlock that stuff. Hygiene. Water tub. Ah, oh, basin. Yeah, there. Oh, there's actually a whole kitchen sink. That's like really big. <laughs> you know what? You don't get a kitchen sink right now, guys. <laughs> what kind of what kind of uh, simple shower? What kind of bathtubs do we have? Is it just water tub right now, or am I blind? No, there is an actual bathtub. Can we change that to like wood? We can. A wooden bathtub. Doesn't that sound comfortable? Kind of feel like it should go on the side there, right? And then. But that's 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 gonna be like later though. Cancel that for now. For now, all you need in your bathroom is going to be if I could find it, because I'm blind, a latrine. That's what you guys are gonna get for now, and you're gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> so I guess that's the layout we're going with for now. We might have to we might have to change some of the stuff later on. So we have a doubled up that room and then a small bathroom out the back for everyone. Let's go. Something like that. And then some single doors. There and there. Same thing over here. Wooden wall. There we go. And some single doors. Hey, Chocobo, you're not sleeping outside anymore either, so that's nice, right? Then I guess we should probably work on getting people real beds. That'll be the, the next thing. Bed rolls? No, we'll do we'll do actual beds. Um I guess just on top of yeah, just replace the sleeping spots that they already have. Okay. Now, while everyone's doing that too, we need to start setting up priorities. So this is how you determine what people do, like in what order, for anyone who hasn't played RimWorld. Because um, pawns normally will just do things from left to right in the basic mode. But once you enable the more advanced mode here, you can actually change the priorities. So like we want everyone's firefighting skill to be, or firefighting priority to be number one. Hey, Chocobo, thank you, or Chocobo. Mr. Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. If you're sick, go to the doctor. If anyone else is sick, take care of them, Mr. Noodle. Take some bed rest at a level two priority. One. Um. Yeah, that can be a number one. Okay, now what's important? Chocobo, we're, we're going to need some food to start cooking soon. That's for sure. Uh, Nate, we're definitely going to need some food being grown very soon. So I need you to start growing stuff. Plant cut. Uh, Noodle and Nate, both of you can go on level 2 for that. And I think everything else isn't, like, uber important right now. Well, maybe hunting. Oh, Nate, you're also the grower. We'll just have to make sure to not flag too much stuff to be hunted. Oh, yeah, and then we wanted, we wanted Noodle to be a hunter. Even though they don't have much skill for it, they have passion for it for some reason. See, I'm taking care of you. I'm a nice mare. Yes, you are. Thanks, love. And then we'll also put fishing. We'll put it on a level three just because I don't know like if you'll fish forever. 
I don't know how this fishing mod works. I've never I've never used this one. So it's to to be determined there. All right, let's uh let's pick someone to follow. Nate, how you doing, man? What where do you been up to? You're just you're just planting some shit. That makes sense. Hell yeah. I'm going to take the last bite of my food. Mm. Thank you again to Mr. Noodle. Seriously, shit is so good. You are amazing, chef. Nate is sleeping, so screw him. We're going to go hang out with Chocobo for a bit. Chocobo's just going for a walk for the night. Dude, I totally, I get it. I understand. I can't blame you. And now he's also going to sleep. Okay, so <laughs> let's get our, our storage facilities kind of sorted, right? So originally I put this one over here in the dumping stockpile over here. Dumping stockpile is just for like trash. Um, so I kind of have that backwards. I think what I honestly want to do is delete both of these. And instead, we're going to turn this building over here into our warehouse. So we are going to go wooden wall. We're just going to kind of finish the building that, that was here once upon a time. Uh, I mean, diagonals are fine. That's technically closed in. Do we need any pillars or anything? How big? We might need a pillar in the room. I'm going to put a pillar in here as well, like right there-ish. Is that centered? Uh, not the log wall, wooden wall. That's seven, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can't center it, okay? So that means we are going to <laughs> cancel that and make it one bigger because I hate when things can't be centered. That's six and six, perfect, okay. Oh, I guess we're probably going to need a door, too, though. Doors. Doors make sense, generally speaking. We'll do a regular wooden door right there. That'll be that'll be the warehouse for everyone. So we're going to need a, a stockpile zone in here. There we go. That'll just be for, for everything we'll store there. Uh, people are already complaining that they don't have any way to fill their recreation needs, so that's good. We will give you something, I promise. But where do we dump all of our, like, industrial waste and shit? Probably somewhere a little away from town. But we want it... We don't want people to have to walk too far for it. For now, we'll just dump it by the river. You know, that's... Pollute your water source. That's smart. That's what... That's what people do in real life, right? Just... <laughs> just dump it in the largest body of water close to you. There we go. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Hell yeah. Um, man, people are going to need somewhere to store their food and shit, too, actually, now that I think about it. I may have made these starting areas a little too small. No, we can make it work. We can make it work. So if we move... See, the problem is, like, storage stuff is usually ugly. I guess that's what we could use this extra space back here for now. I think we're just going to have to come up with a better layout for the for the homes. Oh, I didn't give you guys... At the very least, I'm going to give you guys your own latrine. So you can, you know, use the bathroom somewhere. Hygiene, hygiene, I'm blind. Wooden latrine. Don't say I never did anything for you guys. There you go. We don't have enough wood already. That didn't take long. Oh no, we actually do have more wood. <clears throat> it's just not seeing the wood because it's not in the, the storage zone. That's all. We're actually doing okay for wood. <clears throat> Moving some stuff around, Mr. Noodle. Not very uh, merrily of you. We should probably, after the homes get built, we should probably start working on um, some, some like government buildings quote unquote and things like that next like like an office space maybe a uh yeah i mean i guess really that's it <laughs> that's the next thing i want to work on some sort of office space for for whoever the manager slash mayor ends up being we need recreation variety so that's fine 
if we go over here to recreation, we have a couple different options. Um, for now, why don't we just get the horseshoe pin and we'll put it. This may be like the, the fields at some point. Why don't we just put it here for now? We can always move it. It's super easy to move. That'll just give some, that'll give people something else to do instead of just, um, just, you know, wandering around or talking to each other or whatever. And we'll pick someone to follow around, and then we're going to start working on schedules for people a little bit. We're going to follow around Chocobo as they're, as they're building stuff. Let's do that, shall we? Oh, wait. We have... Before I forget, we have this. Let's make sure that we're actually cooking stuff. We want to keep about 25 regular meals around. We have all these other options, and we'll add more as time goes on. But right now, let's just let's just make sure some food's being made. <laughs> I feel like that's important. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, love. I need a little T-Rex called a Palm Pal. He has a fat booty, and I love him. Oh, Noodle, I love you. Have I ever told you that? Visitors from the Nera Covenant have arrived at Colony. They are trying to they are afraid to enter your territory for the following reasons. No guest bed and the temperature. Yeah, refuse visitors until I have guest beds. We we eventually want people to be able to like, you know, come and relax here and, and, and whatnot, but um Yeah, not right now, dude. We we can't support that. Okay, so schedules for people. Maybe okay. Actually, I think we should probably do the other one first. Where schedule so one two three four five six seven eight okay so that's what time you guys are gonna sleep everyone's scheduled to sleep from 2200 till till 0500 that's fine and then you should probably have a couple hours where you stay at home everybody and then i guess at night i don't really care if you stay at home or not and then we're going to work nine to five. Everyone gets just normal nine to five jobs, right? And then we'll have some, I don't know, everyone goes out for drinks afterwards. <laughs> Does their social activities. And then they can do whatever they want and then they have to go back home. Or they, they go to sleep, which they'll do at their homes, I guess. So we need to make areas now for everyone. Let's go. This is the, the most annoying part, honestly, is setting up all the little things. I just love games where you can just watch people do things. Like, I, I love automation, honestly. I really, really do. But it's uh, it's not for everyone, I guess. Like, the whole ant colony kind of thing, you know? I'm just really into that for, for whatever reason. I couldn't tell you why. I just find it fascinating just to, to watch these little computer-controlled ai dudes just just run around and do stuff all day you know i find it i find it very entertaining to say the least i love you too but sometimes i think you say that to me when you don't know what to say to me <laughs> i would never <laughs> oh god noodle all right um fishing zone create a zone where your colonists will try to fish okay so how does this work so we can we can try to fish here. Choose allow fishing. Choose catch. I mean catch whatever you want. I guess. I don't know. Whatever. We'll put it there. Maybe some people can fish or something. Can we expand the zone out a little bit more to like that? Sure. Uh, okay. So we're being attacked by our first thing. So <laughs> this is this is like the meat and potatoes. This is what happens in the game, right? You have events, and they can be all different kinds of things. Some of them are absolutely crazy. Some of them are much more tame. Like right now, we just have a crazy squirrel <laughs> that is trying to attack everyone it sees. So we're going to draft everyone, um, grab them, get them to come over here and line up, and get ready to fight this this mad squirrel over here that is, that is coming to murder us. So we have to protect ourselves. <laughs> Everybody prepare to fight this squirrel, man, before before things go really bad. I hope Mr. Noodle and Nate have some some good skill with their with their weapons. Chocobo's gonna gonna run in and start stabbing things. There we go. I think Chocobo took about, dude. C 
cut off, yes. Cut, cut off his leg. I wonder if that was the killing blow. Oh no, the, the cut to the body made him die. That makes sense, I guess. Anyways, okay. So there we go. Everyone can now be undrafted and go back doing to whatever you were before. All right, Noodle, you have that there. Who's gonna end up being the one to like actually... Well, at least we know Rue won't be trying to shoot it yet. Someday, maybe. Who's gonna be the one actually doing like the cooking and stuff? Chocobo for now. So, kind of sucks that Chocobo's not the hunter. But, hmm. Okay, let's go back to a slower speed. We need to think about, I got it eventually, damn it. They did get it eventually, they're right about that. I think we need to think about this a little bit more, right? I think we're gonna force people to stay home a little bit longer. And then the sh social hour can maybe move up just a little bit. And then work will move up a bit too. So then we'll give people to, a bit of time to do anything they want. I don't like anything social anything though. I guess the social hour will be like, you know what, right after work. Right after work, people can be, can be social. The thing is, like, I want to make sure people stay at home long enough that they have time to tend to their crops and, and cook themselves food and stuff like that. So they have three hours of, of being forced to do that. And then they have to work for three hours. They're going to need some sort of recreation time. So maybe after social, they do some recreation and then they sleep. Now, if they're not tired, though, the entire night, then they can do whatever the hell they want there. Right? Like if they wanna if they wanna when I guess we're forcing them to go to sleep here. I kinda don't want to force them to go to sleep ever, to be honest. Do we just No, it's better to have them forced to go to sleep. Okay, I think I we're gonna start with that, I guess. So from twenty two to to oh eight hundred, they should be in their homes. And then from 10 to 18, 22, I need to like take a note. Damn it, I didn't think. <laughs> my scratch pad here. Oh, I knocked over my water. That's fine. How long did it take you, Rue, to kill that turkey in the in the test play thing we did during that live stream? Do you remember the 12 hour one? There it is. I remember it's quite a while, but I don't remember quite how long it was. So from 22 to 0800, it's home time. And then from 10 to 18, we may adjust this as we go on if we find we need to. It is work time. And then from nine or for 19, it's social. And then 20 and 21 are recreation. Rec. Okay. Because we need to set up your your guys' priority. You thought Gary jumped off of something? Nope. Gary, Gary's not jumping right now. I'm going to follow around Chocobo for a bit. Oh, they're going to bed. I imagine everyone will. It's probably that time. Well, that's lame. Let's speed up a little bit faster. Okay, so work tab from 22 to 0800. Can I set like a range? Right click to deselect. Oh. So I wanna do like, is this how I do it? I'm kind of new to this, to be honest, this mod here. I've played RimWorld a bunch, but I haven't done, like, the stuff I'm doing now in RimWorld. This is all kind of new to me. So, from that time to that time, and we want to focus on whenever. This is when you guys are going to be at home. So, when you're at home, you need to be able to do basically everything, right? So, we're going to have to have you guys set to do everything, before I do that, I 
just remembered we do have this down here policy setting um new schedule policy rename this will be a uh, home i guess so we schedule home wait what how does this work I want to create a new one. Copy policy. Default. Nope, shit. Where'd that go? Oh, no. New work policy. Okay. That's got to be it. So this will be home. Close. So now can we change this to home? We can. Okay. Just in case we fuck anything up. Uh, okay. So we want... During this time, people should be basically doing everything all the time. Now, different people will end up having different priorities for things, I'm sure. But regardless, they're going to have to do everything. Because they're going to be in their own their own property, on their own property. They're going to have to take care of themselves. Uh, cooking should probably be a level 2 for everyone at that point. So should constructing. It's also going to be important. Now, here's the thing. Yes, okay, awesome. Yeah, if we, if we swap from one to the other, then priorities change. Excellent. That's what I wanted. Okay. Growing is also going to have to be a high priority. Mining doesn't need to be a high one. Plant cut. Uh, that can be high. Smithing is just a three. Art, three. Crafting, three. I mean, if you have space to fish on your property, I guess, do whatever. There we go. And now... Shift-click to deselect all others. So from... What time does work start? 10 to 18? So 10 to 18... This is going to be the work portion of the day. So we're going to leave this at, at what we had the default as for now. For now. This may change later on, of course. And then... Oh, do we want to change anything here? You know what? I There is one thing I want to change. Managing. If there's any managing that needs done, one of the two people that can manage, get it done. For sure. And then rec. We don't need to change priorities for rec, I don't think. Or social hour. So now if we go over here, everything's enabled here. Just that stuff's enabled. Perfect. Okay. So what we can do now, if we make a new zone, expand allowed areas, uh, manage areas, noodle, this will be stay home. Mr. Noodle, I think is the way this, this mod works. So if we hit OK on that. And then clear a lot of areas. Stay home, Mr. Noodle. Oh, we actually got that pretty close to where your actual area was. I'm kind of happy about that. And then we can force you to stay home on just your property during those hours, essentially. Which means we're also going to need to make sure to get you some recreation and stuff, but... <laughs> <laughs> but you know, whatever. And then we can do the same thing for the other two. Stay home. Chocobo. So clear loud area. Stay home, Chocobo. Yours was a little off, but it's fine. And then keep you like there. And then... We want to put Nate over here, but we also need to change the name of it before we forget. Oh, okay. So now, oh shit, I kind of wish we had a, a, a way to like put this off and change it later. I, you may be able to change it later. I don't remember. But we need to name our town, dude. Mr. Noodle thinks that you should give your faction a name. What should your faction be called? So this is like the, the name of our group. 
which I guess would be like the Rulites or whatever, kind of like our, our cult. And then the name of our town, though. Ruville? Rulites and Ruville? Totally. That's... <laughs> so I think we may be able to change this later, so if anyone ends up having any ideas for it or anything, feel free to let me know. But for now, I think that's what we're going to go with. Rulites and Ruville, dude. Let's go. Faction is now known as... We should have done the Rulites. This community is known as Ruville. Oh, well. Okay, and then we, we set up Nate's thing, but we need to manage it and change the name. Stay home... Nate. A-L-I-S-T. Okay. Close. So now if we go here, we should see during certain times, this here will jump around and force people to stay in their zones. Let's follow. I feel like we haven't followed Mr. Noodle in a while. Let's follow Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle's fishing. That seems very unlike Mr. Noodle, honestly, but it's fine. Whatever. New lovers. <laughs> Mr. Noodle courted Nate Alistair by comparing her to an awesome... Excuse me. Mr. Noodle courted Nate Alistair by comparing her to an awesome spring. Nate Alistair responded well and is now Mr. Noodle's lover. Mr. <laughs> Ew, rude. Mr. Noodle and Nate Al... Oh, fishing. Mr. Noodle and Nate Alistair now want to sleep together. Consider assigning them a double bed. So this is the other thing that's going to that's gonna end up causing some problems. But... For now, you two are going to be forced to, to live apart. I'm so sorry, but it is what it is. Isn't Nate a minor? I don't think that's how this game works. Uh, technically, yes. I believe they're 17, but that's not how RimWorld works. So, <laughs> Oh, we got cargo pods with weapons, too. Oh, shit. That's one problem with the follow mod. Um, if you're following someone... Things will just not work sometimes, <laughs> like whenever you try to jump, but oh well, it's fine. Okay, so what we were doing, I wanted to see once we get to 22 on the clock, which is now. Oh wait, no, I don't have the stay home set until all the way over here. Okay, so we want to make sure. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I guess that's fine. If you wanna, if you wanna force yourself to go to bed later, whatever, you can, you can, you can do so. Cause yeah, like Noodle didn't end up going to bed till midnight, which is all the way over here. Yeah, so I guess, I guess that's fine, honestly. So at 0500 though. Oh wait, but that means they might do random work around the town, unless we set them specifically. So we need to change that policy, I think, to be from five to eight. Okay. Well, let's make sure it works first and then we'll and then we'll go from there. <laughs> I'm 17 in the game. I feel the need to specify, yeah. Do we need to butcher fish? I don't know how that works. The fish are new to me. Is there like a special thing in here for for fish? Cook simple meal, fine bakes, lavish meals, desserts of all kinds and sweet rolls. I don't think so. So, can we just Animal products. Fish. Okay, yeah, so it just counts as meat, but it doesn't look like it doesn't look like they have to be doesn't look like they have to be butchered. Good. So that'll give us some meat while we're while we're not really hunting. What is Nate doing? Why are you not in bed, Nate? You're too busy gathering a steel club to <laughs> to go to bed. That sounds legit, honestly. I'm not even surprised. You're finally going to bed at 5 in the morning. Again, <laughs> legit. Sounds about right. <laughs> oh, Lord. But yes, okay. So now everyone is being forced to stay in their own home. And if we look at the work tab... Um, how do we... No, wait. Shit, that's not what I wanted to do. I don't understand this. Right click to deselect. I don't understand this thing here all that well, to be honest. The like specifying things for different times. 
people should be going to work right now, but work is just open so they can go anywhere. Okay, well now they are, I guess, going to work. That makes sense. But during the same home period, shouldn't their... Shouldn't their things change? Oh, shit, we're getting raided. Uh, okay. What's this? Select current hours, select whole day. Select current hour. I'm gonna have to mess with this a little bit more, I think, to figure that out. But we're being raided. Let's hope we don't die. And there it goes. It messed up again. Uh, it's fine. We're just being attacked by Noel. Noel has a hammer, it looks like. No big deal. Surely, surely we can hand her one dude with a hammer, right? So let's just get everyone lined up over here. <clears throat> Defensive positions, dude. Let's go. Where is Noel? Noel's just kind of chilling. Okay, they're taking their time. Uh, their mistake is that gives us a chance for Mr. Noodle to take a couple pot shots. Probably going to miss horribly, but you know what? We're going <laughs> to do what we can, dude. Come on, Noodle. You got this. Just, just hit him. Okay, move up a little bit. Oh, so close, Noodle. Come on. Hey, your shooting skill went up at least. Some good, some good shooting practice. Okay, obviously we need to get closer still. Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. Ah, there we go. Now Nate's getting some pot shots off too, dude. Somebody hit him. Okay, Chocobo. Oh no, Chocobo, what are you doing? Cho Chocobo. Why are you picking now to start a social fight? Oh, <laughs> oh God. Things are already going so horribly wrong. Chocobo and Nate are having a social fight with each other while there's some random dude attacking them, trying, literally trying to murder them. Noodle... <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, melee attack. You two. Fucking melee attack. Please take down this random dude that's trying to kill us. Oh, Lord. There we go. Thank goodness, dude. Okay. You guys are horrible. Uh, we're just going to kill him because we don't have anywhere to put him right now. Let's allow everything. Oh. You colonists, man. You're going to get yourselves killed. I want you to know that. I mean, I guess, like, I probably did keep you, keep you out there for a long time, guys. But come on. Come on. What are you doing with yourselves? Mr. Noodle's doing some doctoring. That sounds uh, scary, honestly. But it's fine. Anyways. <laughs> How does this work thing actually work? Currently showing scheduled priorities. Click to switch to all day priorities. Okay. So can we have like multiple so from what time do I actually have you for staying home from 5 to 8 okay I feel like you should have like a lunch hour or something too so maybe we like just allow you to do anything for like there. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, yeah. Kinda sucks from a gameplay perspective. That's probably gonna hurt things, honestly, but like, oh well. Then I guess maybe we do just three in the morning? Three in the morning's a pretty pretty decent time. So three to eight. Let's try and get this stupid thing to work. Uh, not that. This. So from... What time's this? Three. Three to eight. I want you guys to do basically everything. Schedule. Rate, delete, and rename policy presets. Don't forget to configure them on each tab first. So is there a schedule one? Oh, there is. That's neat. So we could have one, like, I don't know, during during times of, 
I don't know, when when times are rough, do this sort of stuff or something. But that's for later to figure out. Holy shit, it's been another hour. Time is literally flying. Okay, so I want you guys to do everything. During your, your home times. Two, two. What's that say? Oh, that's mine. Holy shit, I'm blind. Smithing. Yeah, just level three priority for, like, everything. Managing can stay at level one. Okay, during this whole block. Did that change that, too? It did. Now, here's the thing, though. What happens if I click here? Okay, so it does change, but it need. I think it needs to have, like... It'd be nice if there were different colors for the different things, I guess. So then your work times are from 10 to 18. So if I drag and select that... Okay. And that, that stayed as it's supposed to. Okay. So that's, that's okay, I think. Actually, I guess, honestly, I'd want your, your normal priorities to take over the whole rest of the time. Oh god, this is gonna end up getting fucked up already, I can tell. But it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. <laughs> oh good, some people are starving to death too. That's excellent. This is going well. Uh... <laughs> oh god. Nate, how bad off are you, bud? You just have some bruises. You're gonna be fine. Chocobo, same thing. Bruises and some malnutrition because you guys decided to have a social fight in the middle of, of combat because, you know, you're smart. So this is Nate's bathroom. This is Noodles. This one's Chocobos. Okay, and then I guess I need to get you guys, like, some ways to cook food of your own. Um, it's not necessarily... You're a champ. It's not necessarily fair, but I think for now what we're going to do for everyone else is just give you campfires out the front of your house. I think campfires also count as, like, another source of recreation. Maybe we do it behind your house. Yeah, that, that kind of makes sense. Noodle, you can have one too, even though you have a proper kitchen. Everyone can have a, a small campfire. And I guess because of that, you'll also need a small stockpile of wood. So stockpile zone. Um, we'll put it... I don't know, right here in the corner of each one. And this is going to be like a important... Clear all for just wood. There you go. For wood. Is there a way to, like, copy? There is. Copy settings. Excellent. Paste settings. And then one for noodle as well. Paste settings. We should probably also just go ahead and order some more plants to be cut. Or, well, wood specifically to be cut. So that we can make sure everyone has wood. And then you need somewhere to store food. You need like a pantry. Which I guess is where the shelves come in place. Is there like a storage section? Or is it just under... Furniture. No, there it is. Storage. I'm just blind. So here we can store maybe some food. Meal tray, shelf, weapon rack, weapons cabinet... All kinds of options. I guess just a regular shelf. Shelf for storing miscellaneous items. Items stored in this will not affect room beauty and they won't deteriorate even if outside. Yeah, let's just do a regular shelf. Let's start with, with noodles since you actually have the, the kitchen area. Maybe that'll go right here. 
Who's the constructor? I think it's it was you, Nate, right? Oh, of course, you're being treated because you have bruises. <laughs> Freaking people with your bruises. All right, you know what? We are going to change the bed rest to a to a level three. Do your do your main stuff first, at least. Oh no! See, the things got messed up again, dude. See, now it's all just set to one thing again. I guess maybe you can only have two different schedules, like either... Yeah, I guess that must be how it works. Son of a bitch. Okay, so deselect everything. This is the last time we're messing with it. If it doesn't work, I'll just figure it out later. So we have you guys staying home from three to eight. Three in the morning to eight in the afternoon. So three... Three to eight. Okay. Follow around Mr. Noodle, because they're the only one that's actually, like, doing anything with their life right now. Love, I thought you had the your vest in the shower. Oh, I'm sorry, love. Yeah, I didn't even think about it. Okay, so from three to eight, for fuck's sakes, do everything, please. <laughs> Cooking at a level two, hunting at a level two. If there's anyone on your property that can, you know. Three, three, actually, you know what? Construction can be a level three. Mining can be three. Plant cut should be a two. Hey, we got one of our campfires up, hell yeah. I just threw it in and rerunning the load. I mean, I guess that works. Kind of sucks to waste the water, but I get it. Three. Three. Wait. Why did all those things just turn red? Can somebody not walk? No, wait. There's like so many that just turned red. Oh, because we're in the we're in the hour now where it's where it's actually active. Okay. Okay. I got concerned for a second. I think. Hopefully we're okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Do we have the thing here? We do, okay. Oh, wait. You know why? No, it's set to important. Our normal one should just be set to normal. Yeah, okay. Good, good. Good, good, good. You guys don't have a whole lot of things to do in your home right now, so I guess it's probably pretty boring to just spend all day in there. But it gives you some time to, to rest. I kind of want you guys to wake up a little bit earlier. I'm not going to lie. So... We are going to force you to maybe go to sleep a little bit earlier. Or not earlier, but just like, just more forced sleep time in general. Yeah. Nah, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Chocobo's washing themselves, that's fair, that's fair. There must have been, like, a shopping mall over here or something at some point. That looks like a computer terminal or something. Yeah, an ancient ATM. There were a bunch of shopping carts laying around and stuff. Hey, Mr. Noodle reached level 6 in plants. Go, Noodle, man. You're going to be a master planter in no time. <laughs> All right, though, guys. Uh, I just realized... I just realized what time it is. Uh, we are going to go ahead and... Oh, God. That's the worst place for a body. Right next to the water. And it's going to be where, like, everyone can see it. We're going to go ahead and take our break, though, is what I was going to say. The carrot plant is 39% grown. Your potatoes are 40%. We need we need some food, man. Corn is very far off. So are the berry bushes. How's the rice doing? 70%. Thank God, man, that those actually grow pretty quick. All right. We're going to have to take a quick break, though, guys. It's been an hour. We're just getting rid of the pre-roll ad BS and uh, giving myself a chance to stand up and stretch and do all that stuff. I also need to refill my water because I am thirsty, dude. I highly suggest you guys all stand up, stretch, get water, whatever you need to do too. And we'll be back in just a few minutes. Good handling. It looks like, looks like the Miata actually has the best handling and some of the best acceleration. Not literally the, be the best, but up there. 
The Miata and 240SX were generally the best, but the Civic is a classic. I'm kind of feeling the 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 Miata. What's everyone else saying? The 240SX. Nate says Civic. Everybody's uh everybody's a little all over the place, man. Nate really wants the Civic. Kane really wants the the 240SX. Odds no, you need the handling. I, I, I mean, you're not wrong. Name generator time. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot to mark that. I did a stretch. I, I, uh, I mean, you, the, the name generator. <laughs> I think you don't quite understand the name generator. That just picks a name there, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> like, if I can name my car, I'll name it Civic for you. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I think we should go with the Ford Focus. <laughs> I'm joking. We get to name the car, Doofus? We do get to name the car? If we do, then yeah, okay. So we'll we'll take the 240SX, since that seems to be the, the other pick from people, and then we'll name it Civic. <laughs> How about that? Do you want this stock 240SX? Sure. <laughs> let's go for that we're gonna have a 240sx named civic your grandma drives a focus it's not so bad i my sister had a uh, ford focus at one point and it was an older one and it was terrible like you couldn't go up a incline of more than like i don't even know man basically any hill it was that bad unless you turned off the ac because it just did not have enough power to run the AC and to move uphill. <laughs> like, it was terrible. The plus side was the, the car literally weighed nothing. So if you got stuck in the snow or something like that, you could just basically pull it out with one hand. <laughs> 2003, and it's a station wagon version. And while wow, your sister sucked it, it sucked bad. Like, real bad. The new new Ford Focuses are okay. I've seen them, but I've never drove drove anything. Use name generator because it was the closest option. <laughs> There's a poll option. We probably could have done the poll, but oh well. Uh, okay, see you at the garage. Cool. Changing steering controls. Yeah, we already got that. Minimap legend. I should probably actually look at what that said. Minimap legend. Selecting left on the SMS HUD will access the world map. The world map is comprehensive overview. So hopefully it'll tell us there what... Oh, I'll stop with the changing views. All right, so just garages and car lot, and then we have opponent cars in orange and our car in green. Okay. Cool. Unable to contact satellite. Hey, thanks for the follow, Jacob. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, we probably we could have done a poll, but honestly, it seems so split that I'm not sure how much a poll would have really helped. Uh, <laughs> because everybody kind of wanted something different. With as many options as there were and how many people there were uh, all picking different things. Alright guys, we are back. <clears throat> as my voice breaks. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I felt like the Twitch chat was just taking up a little bit too much room on the screen. So I, I, I removed it. If, if, if people have a problem with that, feel free to shout at me. And I will <laughs> I'll put it back. But I, I, I decided to get rid of it now. For now. Because, yeah. Anyways, though, let's get back into the game, man. I fucking love RimWorld. I, I hope people end up enjoying watching it because I absolutely adore playing it. It's just a matter of figuring out some of the kinks because I've never played it like this before. This is a totally new way of me playing it, man. Um, let's make sure that everyone is able to cook at least simple meals in their, in their own homes. Since it's it's meant to be for themselves, maybe only like, I don't know, keep seven around. Seven's an odd number, but whatever. You died for a second? I mean, <laughs> I hope you didn't literally die for a second, but uh, <laughs> no. Um, dude, head to bed. You're fine. Have a good night. Uh, any worker? No. We want specifically, this is Nate's house. So we want this one to specifically be Nate. And then, okay, so we can we can go ahead and go back on, like, normal speed or whatever. We want this one to specifically be cook meal. Same thing. Do until you have about seven meals. And then we only want this one to be Chocobo, who has really good cooking skill, actually. So, yeah. 
you fell asleep and now your neck hurts so definitely not literally but ow i mean i <laughs> i didn't think you meant literally if you meant literally i think we got some bigger issues man <laughs> and then mr noodle with their cooking skill of one can have that one and we want this to be do until x oh you know one other thing that we should actually do is pause when satisfied and then unpause so that they're not just like constantly cooking and recooking so we want them to have a minimum of three but a maximum of seven actually that's like a that's a good a good option and then we'll have to we'll have to change like their stockpiles and stuff too uh, later on but for now for now this is gonna be okay details pause when satisfied there we go. Yeah, have a nice night, Rue. Thank you for coming and hanging out for us for, or with us for a little bit, dude. All right, everyone's having a nice little nap. That's fine. Get some rest in, dude. All right, uh, all of the buildings are mostly done. At the very least, though, I, I want to get this built. Why? Okay, it has everything. It just hasn't been built yet. So we need our constructor. We need to make sure that our constructor does it, which it's going to take me forever to, to memorize this shit. Who is our constructor? Nate, what are you doing at this late at night? You are going and getting some food. Of course you are. <laughs> what else would Nate be doing this late at night? Now they're just going to go hang outside Mr. Noodle's house, relaxing by the fire. That's, that's perfectly normal. Yep. Nothing creepy at all about that. Now you're just, just, now you're cleaning animal filth. Wait, what? And now you're you're going back to bed. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh my god, dude. You know, one other thing. Yes, yeah, so we have you like doing that. What if we do just make people go home at night? Just have it be like 12 to 8. What if we do that? Is this here still working? It is. Good, okay. That way we don't have people just, like, creeping on, on people in the middle of the night like that. That, that was a little weird. Uh, so you don't have any food right now or anything. One thing we could do is at least get these <laughs> rocks out of uh, out of Nate's house here. We can we can put a haul on that. Same with anyone else's house that, that might have rocks in it. No one else's house has rocks, okay? Get that, get that stuff out of your house at least, dude. I really just want this to be finished so I can see how the shells work. I've never used this specific mod before. I, I've seen it in action, but I've never done it myself. So, I'm curious how that's going to work. Okay, we're coming up on... There we go. People are now allowed to go out and do whatever the hell they want to do. See, my one worry with not making people stay at home longer is that they'll end up never going to sleep until, like, super late. And then they'll just, you know, get up at 8 o'clock. I guess right now part of it's probably just because they don't have much to do. So what if we, like, what if we did that? Just make them stay home all the time. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly, I think that does make make a bit more sense. Hopefully, we'll be getting some vegetables soon so that we can, you know, cook some food. Oh, Nate, you got more rocks in your house, dude, or around your house. Get rid of those. You don't want rocks in your house, dude. There we go. That rice is almost done. Thank goodness. Now, why... Why aren't the rest of these tomatoes planted? Gradiana Albus, a senator from Western Republic, has died in your care. Western Republic will not elect a new senator who you will have to gain the favor of. As such, the perk CV's Pacum Parum Bellum has been lost. Wait, what? What's going on? <laughs> uh, someone died in my care? I didn't have anyone in my care. Okay, then. It's your raw collection, of course, of course. What was I thinking? How dare I get rid of your raw collection? Chocobo playing some horseshoes. Hell yeah, dude. 
I really want to get the manager's workstation set up next. I think that's going to be the next thing to do. Just because it'll automate some stuff like, like chopping wood for us, for instance. We are so low on food. We only have two meals left. That is a problem. <laughs> we have a lot of wood, actually, thankfully. But holy shit. Oh, dude, a heist. Yes, let's go. Heist, uh, 1337. Let's go. Max that boy out. I'm always down for a heist, my guy. Let's follow around Nate for a bit. What are you up to, dude? You're fishing. I mean, okay. Actually, fish is something that we can use to cook food with and whatnot. So that's fine. Fish your guys' hearts out. Two colonists are idle. So we definitely need more jobs for people. I mean, we have the growing stuff. We have cooking set up. We have growing set up. We have cooking set up. I guess the only things right now that we really need that we don't have set up is research, right? Managing. Um, animal handling. Hunting. Those are kind of the big things, which the manager can also designate things to be hunted for us. So I feel like, yeah, I feel like we need to get that set up. Oh, dude, the, the wooden shelf. Okay. So storage, clear all. Priority, importance, fine. So we want this wooden shelf. What did we want it to be? So it's meant to be like the stuff of your house. So food, mostly. Um, so meals. Raw food. I guess meals are just stuff that you can eat, but we also want, I guess just all food, honestly. Waste corpses, nuclear waste? Maybe not. You're going to get your shower? Okay. Enjoy your shower, love. Uh, don't allow anything rotten. But we just want food stuff to be in here. That way, like, whenever they pick things, they can just take it right to there. And then, like, here we can have... Instead of take the best stockpile... Incompatible. Uh, can we not just have them take it right here? change graphic that's a new button hey we lived well okay nate died i'm sorry nate <laughs> you're the one who needed it the most man look if i could if i could give you a couple of my points i totally would but as far as i'm aware there's no way to make that happen so you'll just have to you'll just have to have another uh heisting excavation ex whatever you get what i'm saying um Wooden shelf normal. I was really hoping that we could, like, have this. Take the best stockpile. Stockpile zone one. That's the one over there. Hmm. That's kind of annoying. Well, it is what it is, I guess. I mean, if they're cooking in their own home, they won't be able to leave. So, at that point, maybe they'll take it here. Since, you know, that's the that's the only one they can... I don't know. I don't know if there's really a way to make this thing that I want to do work. But we're, we're definitely going to try. Okay, fires are a bit of a problem. When there's a fire, I wish we could set, like, some sort of command. When there's a fire, just let people go wherever the hell they want. Thankfully, right now it's raining. So, um, it shouldn't really be a big deal. Oh, Chocobo, your fire went out, dude. Hmm. Oh, dude, there's a lot of fires out there, and they're not going out for some reason. Why is it not going out? Yes, we are very low on food, I know. I mean, we have some, some eels. <laughs> we can we can eat some eels, right? Those should be tasty. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and get the, the manager building up and going. Structure. Wooden wall. That's going to have to be around the center of town, right? The, the mayoral office. Maybe, like, right in this area. So we're going to need a few things here, though, right? We're going to need a manager's workbench. So why don't we just go ahead and start grabbing the stuff? We can always disallow the stuff that we don't want running right now. We're going to need... Holy shit, I'm blind. Furniture, structure, blueprints, production. There we go. Thank you. School table? No. We'll, we'll do school stuff eventually. Planner box. Sushi prep table. What? Okay, we're going to need a manager's desk. That should probably be like 
in the back somewhere. And then there should we're gonna want like a meeting room. That's just gonna be a table. So we'll put this like here. Why not? And then probably under furniture. Just like a uh I don't know. Nice big table. No, that's that's too much. Two by two. Yeah, that should be that should be pretty decent. We're gonna want some room around it so we can have, you know, some some chairs. I mean dining chairs aren't exactly the best thing for meetings, I feel like, but you know, <laughs> it's whatever. It'll be fine. Oh, there's a circular table. Oh, that's tiny, though. Never mind. And then... So that's going to be like an office. We're also going to need a research bench. Which... It's under production. Simple research bench. Does that go in the same place as the... Hmm start putting up some walls. I don't know how best to lay this out. Okay, so if that's the, the meeting room, right, we should probably not have... Well, I guess they can... So we'll have, like, the entrance be here. It's gonna be right next to Nate's house. I think we're gonna have to move the whole thing. Son of a bitch. Cancel. Cancel. Okay. We're moving the whole thing. It's going to be down here instead. Next to the, the storage shed, I guess. Whatever. Which, in that case, I guess we don't need to move that either. Uh, Reinstall there. I think I canceled it. We need a research bench. I guess maybe this should go in the in the office space with the manager's bench. So maybe we put it like up like that, right? And then we do manager's desk. We're gonna want to leave some extra room because later on things can get bigger. That should actually be we'll leave one extra space. That might be too much room, but it'll be fun. Uh, clear that, please. Structure. Wooden wall. Then we'll leave a few extra tiles because, like I said, things can grow, but I don't know exactly how large they're going to end up growing. And then we're going to want a small little... It doesn't need to be that big. So maybe we just, like, take this out a little bit farther, kind of like that. Then we'll have this be like a little reception area, and then down here can be a meeting room or whatever. I wish there was like a one by three. Something that just, you know, centers up a little bit better. But we can always put like a filing cabinet or something over there, maybe. Then we'll have like a chair there and two chairs over there. Which kind of makes me wish it was a little bit bigger. Maybe we turn it the other way. Oh, no, not that one like that instead yeah there we go i think we want it like that actually and then put the chairs here here and here then we can have the door wherever was it under structure we have a door like there can you go t through the office to get there no like that yeah no Hmm. I think I liked it better on the top one. Cancel that. Kind of like that. Then do we have... We have a, a table one by one. Perfect. Just a little tiny, like, reception area here, you know? Square chair. Oh. Well, that works. Now I kind of wish that... We didn't have these ones here, because I, I kind of want the square chairs. They make more sense, since they're not used for dining. Then we're going to need, like, uh, lights and things, too. Have a little have a little bench seating area for people that come in. 
Then we're going to need a door on the front of the building, too. That usually helps if people can get in. There we go. That'll be our little, our little tiny office space for now. So we'll get the manager's workstation, all the other crap. Let's, uh, the stuff that's not, like, super important right now, let's just not allow that stuff to be built at the moment. Just get the, the important bits, actually. None of that. Just the, the research slash managing station. Let's get that up and going first. We're also going to need a butchering table for whenever we actually start getting meat production up. Labor from the Central Republic. Gross. Okay. What is going on with you, Mr. Slaver? A caravan from the Central... Holy shit, that's a lot of people. Uh, okay. I didn't quite expect that. I don't think I want to do anything with you, honestly. Being a slaver and all that. Can we... Assign this to people as well? What is this? Oh. Mint resource? What is all this? Build autofocus, close. This must be like... I, I have something called like the mint menu or something like that. This must have something to do with that. It looks confusing. I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna bother with that right now. Uh, we want this one to be only for Mr. Noodle. For when they're at home and they have to butcher some meat or whatever. They can do that outside for now. Same thing, but for do forever. I should have done that on the other one. But for Nate, do forever, please. Oh, good. There's a fire raging. That's fine. I'm sure nothing bad could possibly come from that. Um, <laughs> do forever. And this one's only for Chocobo. We should probably also have like a... Uh, one over here for, for just whatever. You know, for whenever people are, are doing their normal work sort of stuff. So we'll build copy right out here for now. That's actually a terrible place for it. Never mind. Deconstruct. I changed my mind. We want to have it right outside the door so we can have a, a bloody mess just right outside the door. And this will just be a generic do forever for, for everyone. Kind of like that. Okay. You know what? I don't want this to get any more out of hand so put a home zone over there and then just draft and undraft so that everybody takes care of this fire real quick so fresh and so clean clean hell yeah dude i'm so happy for you noodle you're not going to be fresh and clean for long padding out all these fires by hand but <laughs> major break risk chocobo please don't start another social fight dude <laughs> I don't need you bruising the hell out of everyone again. What is your, uh, what's your problem though, Chocobo? Why are you having such a bad time right now? Yeah, malnutrition. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, I, I guess it's probably mostly that, actually. <laughs> you guys are eating some raw rice right now. <laughs> I mean, you know what? I can't honestly, I understand that that's, that's totally fair. Ate some raw food. You're upset about that. Mr. Noodle's sick from food poisoning. Awesome. So Chocobo's the menace of the group? Yeah, that's that's what I'm noticing, man. Chocobo's definitely the, the menace of the group. Oh, hey, cool. We got some, some apparel of some sort. We got a dog leather vest. That's interesting. <laughs> a hybrid chitin commissar hat? Com commissar? I don't know how to say that word. That's fine. Somebody cooking? I think somebody may actually be cooking. Major break risk, minor break risk. Yeah, I know, guys. Things are tough right now. Oh my god, we got actual food. It's actually really exciting. Okay, we need to get the, the countertops for other people so that they can... So that they can... Uh, have food stored in their own homes for when they're when they're forced to stay at home and stuff like that. Storage. Man, I am terrible at seeing things. 
So it's just the wooden shelf. That seemed to work fine for for Noodle's home. If it worked fine for Noodle's home, it'll work for everyone else's, damn it. These other ones not ready to grow or something? 98%. They're really close, but not quite. Chocobo's going to be the only person with any food. 56% grown, 54% grown. God damn, Noodle. Your stuff takes forever. Okay, so does Nate's. I'm really glad that we have at least some race growing from Chocobo's field. Otherwise, everyone would be screwed, dude. You're just in bed. Noodle's actually doing some cooking. Hell yeah, dude. Cook that food. Why do we still have this axe here? Can we, like, get that out of here? Maybe? Because I'm pretty sure... I have everything. Yeah, everything's turned off except for food. This storage shelf is only for food. Noodle, I think you made yourself sick with your with your own cooking, honestly. <laughs> food poisoning. Major. Yep. Okay, we have a lot of construction stuff queued up, but... You guys need a little bit of recreation in your homes. So... What is this? Ancient wooden board game. Oh, books. I forgot that we had books. Oh, you need piles of books for that, though. I don't know how to get piles of books. So, never mind. I guess you can each have a chess table in your room for now. So, at least you have something to do. Maybe a little, uh, a little actual table would be nice, too. Just so you can eat at a table in your own home. Maybe we could squeeze that in the kitchen somewhere. Oh, countertop. Commonly found in kitchens. Ah, oh, dude, that's actually perfect. Um, oh, dude, that is that is awesome, actually. And then for Chocobo, it doesn't seem like we can turn it. So it just however it is is how it is. And thankfully, since we have wooden stockpile or wood stockpiles in people's homes, they should be able to build their own their own stuff while they're while they're forced to stay at home, which is kind of the point. Mr. New, just getting a little drink. Food poisoning major. Yep. That sucks. Nate's a little malnourished. Chug about how you doing. You're also malnourished. Trivial, though. So it's getting better. You're stealing, you're stealing food from Noodle. I mean, look. When you're hungry, you're hungry. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> can we not put, like, actual food in here? Cooked meals? No, we can. It's definitely not at its limit. Rude. <laughs> so is it something to do with here? Hmm. What's this? Count additional items. Oh, okay. That's like if you want all meals to be counted instead of just uh, that one kind of meal. Or if you only want one kind of meal counted, etc. You can change that stuff there, which is pretty nice. Unloading inventory. I want this stuff to get finished. Nate, what are you doing, bud? Cooking simple meal. Aren't you supposed to be... Wait. Why, why are all... Currently showing scheduled. Click to show all day. So do we need to change? Home. How do the scheduled priorities work? Because it seems like we have everything enabled for everyone, and we don't want that, actually. We only want everything scheduled for everyone during, like, specific times. Select current hour. Oh, no. Hold on. It goes from 10 to 8. So, okay, that stuff's all fine, actually. Doctoring, we don't want that on for people that are bad at doctoring. Same with that, and the wardening. 
turn that stuff off. Actually, you have some passion for wardening, so you can do that. Turn that off, turn that off, and that. We only want you guys cooking during your scheduled times. You can construct, though. Cook, plant, grow. We don't want you all growing all the time. We're doing that. Turn off all that stuff. See, it seems to be changing it for... I don't understand how the system works. Perform genetics research. Mr. Noodle is assigned. Oh, okay. Managing. Oh, managing can actually stay on a one all the time. That's fine. Fishing can stay on all the time. Studying can be turned off. Teaching can be turned off. So some of the stuff stuck. Like, why did genetics stick? From 08 to 22. So it's like backwards. What? I'm going to have to do some more research tonight <laughs> to see how how this actually works. Because the, the whole thing that I want to do isn't going to work properly if we can't get that working properly. That's like a really important part of it, honestly. And like the system... Wait, now it's gone. What? <laughs> Excuse me, game. Rim world. Schedule. Work. Work schedule. Reddit. Uh, nope, not that one. Maybe schedule priorities? Yeah, schedule priorities. I use equate off mostly to schedule to use it. Click the schedule priorities button in the work tab, revealing the schedule bar at the bottom of the tab. Then adjust your schedule by left clicking the hours you want scheduled and right clicking the hours you don't want scheduled and select them. Active hours are yellow, inactive hours are black. Okay, adjust the priorities of the selected job. If it worked, it should display with a tiny schedule icon on the priority. And for example, have the unscheduled cleaning and hauling priority for a pawn at low, but set high priority for, okay. When we remove change the schedule, make sure you select the exact hours of that schedule before changing the board. Otherwise, it just creates a new schedule for that job. Similar for unscheduled. Oh, so for unscheduled times, you have to turn it off completely. So if I want at 22, if I want you to do teaching... So now if I turn that off, you're still scheduled to teach. Now if we close the tab and open it back up, does it stick? Hopefully it sticks. No, it disappeared. I wonder if there's like a... Switch everyone back to default for now. I wonder if there's like a conflict, a mod conflict or something. Because, like, as soon as we leave and come back, it seems like everything gets messed up. Which is obviously not what we want. Let's go ahead and follow someone around just so we have something to kind of watch in the background while I try to figure out what the hell's going on. Because, like, I don't mind people going, like, the constructor, for instance. He's allowed to go around and help other people construct their shit. That's fine. But why the hell... I need to, uh... Copy Mr. Noodle's settings for everyone else's paste. And paste. 
Now if we go here... Yeah, okay. They pasted it right. Good, good. Um... Fluffy's work tab not working. <laughs> Fluffy work tab not working. Issues. Who tend to self lowercase font? Interrupt work when schedule changes. Sub priority is reset on window close. Can't set butcher priority lower than the rest of the cooking. Work in the rest without any issues. When selecting sub priority, oh no, that's not. That's, you can, so one of the neat things, there's actually like, so the, let's say the hall is, that's a job on its own, but if you hover over it there, you can see there's actually all these other sub jobs. So people have had problems with that, apparently. I haven't had any problems with that lately. But oh, people are, are mad that twat, twat curties. <laughs> oh my god, uh, isn't being fulfilled. Let's go ahead and let's just do something that we can actually do anything about. Let's do the manager tab. Let's set up a hunting job. Um, our target is 250 meat. Count all on map though. Don't count human meat or anything like that. Don't restrict hunting. Do all herd animals. Can also do turkeys. That's fine. Basically, I just want you to hunt anything that's not going to murder me. Disable all predators. Badger? Do badgers get aggressive? I guess they do. Blind salamander? What? <laughs> it's not very much meat from them, but... Donkeys, gazelles, giant spiders, guinea pigs don't give enough meat. Neither do hares or hedgehogs. Koalas? No, hardly any meat. Raccoons? Raccoons give some meat. Well, I guess we can hunt raccoons. Ch -ch -ch Red fox? Sure. Red panda? No. Squirrels? Nah, they're just not worth all the work. Wild goose aggressiveness, 25%. Yeah, that, that sounds about right, honestly. Wolfhound? Aggressiveness, zero. Huh. Sure, hunt those two, whatever. Manage. So that'll mean that, that somebody will come over and uh, they will automatically flag things to be hunted for us now when we don't have enough meat in the colony to, to feed us. So whoever has... Do do managing right now it's chocobo but i want that to be a high priority for both chocobo actually and noodle since they both can do it they're the only two that can as long as someone's doing it chocobo is throwing a fit and ha hiding in the room that's fair i i get it man let's go ahead and remove the planning stuff now because that's kind of honestly annoying uh plan remove I don't like having all those little little dots on the map there. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Is there a reset? <laughs> no. Oh shit, dude. Okay, we will delete and then just make a new one because I'm an idiot. Stockpile zone. And then what I wanted to do actually was the dumping stockpile zone. Oh, there's a chem fuel pond? What? I will just allow everything over here, but have it on a very low priority. That way, in case like our, our normal stockpile isn't catching something, it'll hopefully be caught over there. I'm not seeing anything about the the work tab being broken for other people. So, okay, so this is selected. And during these hours, I want you to, I want everyone to cook. During these hours, let's say. Where's the cook? 
at a level two priority. And then if I select another time, okay. Okay. Will cook from 22 to 2300. Good. But will that stick? I'm wondering if it has something to do with this, but I thought... will cook will cook close open now it's gone yep I'm gonna have to mess around with that I may need to uh, there's a possibility I'll have to like disable a mod or something to get that to work I don't know we got a muffler wool vest though and a bison wool flat cat mm, sure we'll take it Nate's cleaning up some people's homes. Thank you, Nate. Appreciate that. I wouldn't want my bathroom full of fecal sludge either. A horse stallion is getting revenge. Um, so does that mean were we hunting them? I should have taken a better look. I didn't see who they were getting revenge on or even where they were at. Okay, Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle is doing some hunting. Oh, no. Mr. Noodle. Oh, God. Okay. So obviously, <laughs> with our hunting job, some of these things do get angry alpacas no beaver bison bison can get angry so disable bison it's not too often but still they can deer and donkeys are fine gazelles are fine i mean there's a small chance donkeys will get mad or whatever but it's fine horses do get mad so well some horses i guess i <laughs> i'm assuming that uh the one of the mods I'm running adds is adds a bunch of extra animals. So it's probably something along the lines of like Oh damn, yeah, definitely don't go after the rhinoceros. They probably added horses to the game and the, the horses from the game are different from the horses from the mod, is my guess. Come on. Come on, Noodle. Come on, Noodle. Noodle, hurry up before you get attacked, Noodle. Noodle? <laughs> God, run away. Run away, Noodle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with your malnutrition. I'm so sorry. Uh, What are you doing? Why are you not hunting? I didn't draft you. What are you doing, Noodle? Oh, my God. You're running away scared. That's what you're doing. Oh, people, people, people. I think we can change that somewhere. You're currently moving. Somewhere we can tell people don't run away. Right here. Attack. If you're being attacked by a wild animal, fight back. There we go. You gonna you gonna finish it off? It's dead. Okay. Good job, Noodle. You got the first hunting done for the entire colony. I'm proud of you. <laughs> no, run away. <laughs> you stand and fight, Noodle. You stand and fight. <laughs> you didn't even get hurt. You're fine. You're fine. And now you're just watching some clouds. And doing some random ass cleaning because why not? Okay, we got our chest tables now, or at least one of them. Did we? Oh no, we got one for Noodle too. Y'all can play chess now. That's good. Oh cool, we can make them look different. That's nice. I'm assuming that must be uh, there's like the the vanilla textures mod or something like that. I forget what it's called, but. Pawn control. Never accessible to. Oh. So we can lock different areas. So if you have like food stored on your shelf, we can make it only accessible to you. That's an interesting thing that we may end up making use of at some point. I guess since we got that room done, we might as well go ahead and allow the rest of this to, to be done.
give people something to work on. We could go ahead and floor our rooms too so that they're a little bit neater looking. Uh, maybe just some like basic wood floors for now. We can always make them fancier later. Uh, not that one, just the houses for now. Uh, excuse me, game. I was trying to do something. Thank you. How's the rest of the stuff coming up? Tomato plants are 82% grown, so really close now. The berries, 89. Corn is still lagging behind, man. That corn takes forever. 87, 90. Good. We got more food coming. That's good. Because Lord knows we're going to need it. Nate, why would you... <laughs> Why would you cloud watch right next to the dead body, man? I don't, <laughs> I don't... I don't think that's the best idea I've ever heard. That's just asking to be upset. What are you doing? Uh, clearing some plants, Chocobo. Cutting down a poplar tree. Uh, we are out of wood again, which honestly is another thing that we should have the manager do. The manager can go around and count how much wood we have and then make sure that we always have, uh, honestly, I guess at least timber shroom. Huh. Yeah, whatever. Um, can make sure we always have at least like 500 wood. Rolling around. So that in situations like this where we're out of wood, it'll automatically flag more to be chopped down. And that'll be Mr. Noodle slash whoever the mayor ends up being job. So if we can't get the work thing to work, I guess the other thing we could do, since the, the work tab does have different work policies, we could set, you know, the default one and then we could have the home one. And then we'll just have to manually change it between the hours of, you know, midnight and whatever. Which, I was trying to avoid having to do that by using this, but for some reason, this doesn't seem to be working right now. I'm probably doing something wrong, or there's maybe a mod conflict, and I'll, I'll look into it after the stream. But I just, uh, I don't know, man. It's weird. I don't quite understand why it's not, why it's not working. What do we got? Some more, some koi. Hmm. Didn't know it was a koi pond. How you doing, Nate? What do you got? You got some... Isn't there a way to, like, look in it? thought there was a way to actually look in the storage to see what all was here. Oh. Oh, God. Roaming monstrosities. Some escaped genetically modified monstrosities have been wandering aimlessly through the wilds and have been attracted to your colony. They're attacking immediately. Oh, good. They're afflicted with greater scaria, so they won't be able to be tamed. Oh, it's a chicken rabbit rooster? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. We're being attacked by a chicken rabbit rooster. Because, uh, sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, guys! <laughs> Take down the chicken rabbit rooster! Oh god, I think it's it's okay. It's it's focused on chocobo, so maybe we can we can kite it. There we go. Dope. Too bad that it was uh, it was sick. We can't eat it. An ambrosia sprout, very cool. Low food, yeah, the food is pretty low. We're working on it though. We have food growing. Our homes are starting to come together. Mr. Noodle taking a little nap. That sounds about right. Nate is harvesting the berry bushes. Of course, that's where the berries came from. I didn't even think of that. Oh, you know what? I bet you this isn't a deep storage shelf. This is just a regular shelf. That's why I can't go into the inventory. So you can only store two different things on here. That's not the type of shelf that I actually meant to build. I was wanting, is it under the same category? Shelf for storing miscellaneous items will not deteriorate even if outside. I bet you it is something to do with that.
Tall shelves are the best. Also, hi. Hey, what's up, man? Thank you for joining. Yeah, I think... See, I've never used the uh, deep storage mod before, and I think that's where I messed up. I think I, I should have done the, the double or the tall. I mean, it's fine for now, having the little the little one, but we're definitely going to want to switch it over eventually. So that we can have uh, multiple things stacked on top of each other. Because the idea is is that like all of the food for this house, until we until we get refrigeration, will be kind of stored in this one one shelf. And only having two little areas to put it in just isn't going to be enough. Okay. I'm going to have to... Actually, I'm going to write that down because I'm definitely going to end up forgetting about that by the time we play next week. Switch shelves. To... Tall slash double. Oh god, I can't spell. For food, you may want to use the food basket. That's a good point. Mini granary for storing raw food and plant matter. See, for now though, I wanted the one just so we can store all kinds of food in it. Like, uh, not only raw ingredients, but also meals and things like that. But in the long run, yeah, definitely. Like, once we, we have uh, a little bit more space. Because I, I don't think you've been here for the rest of the stream i'm playing it entirely wrong i've played rimworld before but not with the specific set of mods that i'm that i'm using and instead of having like one big group of people or whatever i'm trying to have more of like a, a town that i want to build up you know with individual homes and little work centers and things like that so i was trying to figure out a way to have uh like people when they're at you know their home cook their own food and things like that but uh it's proving a challenge. Thank you. I'm glad you think it's cool. I, th I thought it was a pretty neat idea too. But um, it's definitely a bit of a challenge trying to get everything to work the way that I want to. Like for instance, the deep storage things don't seem to, to come up as a, as a stockpile here. Because like I was hoping I could just have them, whatever they cook, stored in their own storage. I'm hoping since I have a mod that will lock them to the area of their own unique home... Uh, during specific hours of the day, so I'm hoping maybe that'll that'll lead them to to take it to that storage. Plus, you know, it's the closest storage to the the kitchen that they would have in their own house, so they should, in theory, if I if I change this instead of oh no, it's set to take the best stockpile. So in theory, they should just take that over here and drop it, since it's you know the closest one. Same with like the food that's harvested and things. But yeah, like here for instance. They've ran out of space for the potatoes because of the type of shelf that I used. Ah, annoying. You think I can rename the shelves? Doesn't seem like it. Unless I'm missing something here. We have that. What's this? Lex next thing in the same square. Storage. It's a mod you're using, Rip. Okay. <laughs> that explains it, yeah. So, I mean, I'm hoping, at the very least, whenever I switch over to the to the proper deep storage stuff, since it'll have more than two slots on it, maybe that'll work. If I need to, I could always, like, add more things, too. Also, did I not... Yeah, I don't have that set to... Just Mr. Noodle, since that is Mr. Noodle's home. Should be using that one. Everyone else just has campfires for now, but we had a bit of a wood shortage problem, so <laughs> nobody else's campfires are up and running. You have a shelf and you can name it, but it works with the wood basket. Oh. Weird, but okay. <laughs> you have a shelf and you can't name, but it works with the food basket. That is odd. Well, here. You know what we can do real quick before we hop off for the night? We can go to storage. I'm completely blind, by the way. Um, holy hell. Okay, there we go. Let's just pop a food basket right there and then grab Nate, I think, is our best constructor. Let's force you to work on that real quick and see if we can rename that one or, or you know. Although I guess the food basket probably wouldn't work in this case because cooked meals, but whatever. Okay, food basket. You can't put some meals in there. Uncooked soups. Anyf oh, anyways. Uh, okay. S contents. Nothing there. Huh. Do you know the name of the mod, maybe, that lets you change the names of things and whatnot? Because I don't seem to have... 
the option. Oh, right there. Rename. I mean, I guess we can just leave it named Wooden Food Basket for now. Near reinstall. Yeah. Yeah, I found it. I'm just dumb. Take the best stockpile. Stockpile zone one. So nothing there, but I mean, it's a cooked meal that won't store in there. What about one of the other... Like the meal tray rack? Hollers carry meal meals and treats here for storage. Maybe if we use that. Wooden meal ray. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. English. I'm good at it. I mean, we can always just move these things or whatever later once we get them. Figure it out. Right now we're in... Uh, <laughs> we're in science mode man we're just trying things to see what works and what doesn't okay so we can rename it allow all meals to be put here This is a deep storage one. Good. Now, if we go here and go details, take to best stockpile. Yeah, no, sadly, it's still not an option here. I, I don't think renaming it's going to change that. Like, if we just call it, uh, Noodles Shelf. Yeah, still no option for it. That sucks. I mean, like I said, it won't be perfect, the whole system, but I think we can still make it work one way or another. It's just going to take some uh, some imagination on our part, I, I guess. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. I'm just glad that we're starting to get some food. That was a close call there for a bit. The other thing I need to figure out, and I'm going to make a note of that too real quick. Is I'm trying to do work schedules so that when they're at their own home, they'll, you know, do everything like, you know, cooking their own meals and stuff. Whereas normally I wouldn't want people cooking meals if, if they have like a shop, a bakery or something like that, that they're running. I want them to go to the bakery and cook, obviously. But I don't want other random people going to their bakery and shopping. So it'd be nice if I could, when they're at home, have two different work schedules. And this is supposed to do that. But every time I close the screen, it seems to close. So I may just have to make like two different work policies over here. And then just switch between like a home one and a default one or something like that. We'll figure it out. It just changes its name, sad, yeah. Which, I mean, it's nice to have different names for things, I guess, in certain situations. But it'd be even better if I was able to, to assign things to it. As if it were a, uh, a storage area. I'm assuming that like just going to zone and putting a stockpile zone... Yeah, yeah, you can't even put one on it because there's an object there. Shoot. But oh well. We'll figure it all out as we go along, man. If anything, we can just pretend that it, that it, you know, is a uh, everyone doing things in their own homes and things like that. Where in reality, they'll be running around, going to each other's homes, helping each other cook and whatever. If that's what it ends up being, that's what it ends up being. But oh well. Uh... That's all I got time for tonight, guys. We are a little bit over the three-hour time limit that I, that I have for myself here. The time that I had to stream. I will be streaming RimWorld basically every Friday for the foreseeable future. So if you enjoyed the RimWorld content, please do come on back next Friday to see how the colony grows. It'll be fun. For everyone that's here right now, though, thank you so much for coming and hanging out for a bit. Have a good night, everyone. Send so Sloth, you as well. I can't speak English. I'm terrible. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye, y'all. Have a good night, and as always, be kind to each other. One vote on it.